What's up, everyone? Welcome, welcome, welcome to Frosty Faustings Top 8 for DNF Duel. I am Yehozi, joined by my friend. I am Fox. What's up, everybody? How's it going? Uh, yeah, we, we had some uh, absolutely crazy matches all the way. In this tournament, it's been wild, right? Yes. Because from the start of Bracket to even before Top 48, there were killer matches. And now, <laughs> these matches that felt like, honestly, might be Top 8 matches, we're seeing now. It's <laughs> This tournament has been absolutely crazy. Yeah, I know a lot of people were expecting certain uh, players to be in like winner's side already. Like Masomas, yeah. Masomas and losers. Lost Soul got knocked out, I'd say like uh, somewhere before top 16. Yes, he did, he so, did. And uh, and also the Japanese players are also not struggling, but a lot of people are just like, oh, I thought they would be way cleaner at the game, but uh, it turns out that Europe is uh, pretty strong as it turns out. Europe is killing it this tournament, yeah, actually. I know, I Europe is killing it. Uh, US also doing good. A lot of representation from pretty much everywhere. Like Yoo Sung Chan from Korea and Losers Top 8. Uh, we have the UK, uh, Ganondorf, yeah, who's yeah. The, actually the first match we're going to see in a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, Tales of Mr. E, also from the UK. Yeah, so, yes. yeah. So, uh, UK and France, rather. And there's also uh, no same character in case everyone at home is just like, I can't wait to see five Hitmans. But guess what? You're not going to see that at all. That's right. And if, if you're not like insanely present on like where the meta of the game is, it is no longer Swiftmaster, 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 Swiftmaster. That was like, that was like six months ago, five months ago. It was, it was six, five months ago. But now we only have one Swiftmaster, right? It's not. There's so much character <laughs> variety in this game. It is not all Hitmans. It's not all Swiftmasters. It's not all Crusaders. Don't worry. We got, we got one of each. Yes. Yes. All uh, the good characters are here. To be fair, I, I, after the main patch that we had in December, yeah. I know a lot of people were really expecting to see like, all right, who's gonna be the main big top tier? And it feels like a lot of the casts are more in line with each other now. Yes. Obviously you're gonna have like one or two stark differences in strength in terms of game plan and how they meet the win conditions. But temporarily, I feel like right now, everybody's in a good spot. Maybe one or two quality of life changes are needed later, but you know, we'll, we'll see what happens after another big event. Yeah, the game's in, in my opinion, in a much better state. Like mm. when they said only buffs, uh, you know, it was announced as the Otaku and I was hyped, but I was hyping it up. And honestly, when I thought only buffs, I thought that the game was going to become more volatile. It's actually become slightly more stable right. because the guard bar and the health increase so much. much. Yeah, right. so it, the game's in a really, really, really good spot. Um, and speaking of which, we have uh, Kubo versus Yusu Ganondorf. Uh, Kubo playing Grappler, a character we did not see much of in top eights in the past. Uh, to be fair, uh, anytime you see Kubo at any of the uh, overseas events, yes. anywhere, anywhere in Asia, uh, he usually does pretty well. He either makes a uh, top top like he gets ninth place or he's in top eight right 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 because he's probably the best grappler that you can uh hope to see nowadays because he plays at a very like slow pace up until it's like all right it's time to win i need to use some sort of like guard crush move to yes. armor through something and then like all right yeah. i'm a grapple what are you gonna do <laughs> oh and it looks like he's ch channeling the energy of i believe that's belial right yeah yes. yeah, yeah so <laughs> he is he is becoming the villain you, you can't be the villain when everyone loves the grappler. Everyone loves grapplers. I, I love grapplers. Yeah, it's like, so, so there's some weird conception about people loving grapplers to watch, but then when you play against a grappler, it's like, this is the worst thing ever. Yeah, and you know, if there's one character that can really tame grappler, it's uh, Ganondorf. Ganondorf's uh, character, Launcher. Yes, uh, Launcher also being proponent of a lot of buffs. Insane amount of buffs. That character is now ultra real. Yes, uh, it was really hard to have people say like, hey, what's the fastest button this character has? And you say it's 10 frames, you're like, oh, so everything else about her is solid, right? And it's like, no, not, not really, no. <laughs> no, yeah, Launcher just getting so much access now to damage. Like, that was the one thing, she was missing quite a bit, but the main thing she was missing, missing was damage. Yeah, so now she can do it pretty much anywhere, and not only does it do damage, it also carries you all the way to the corner. Corner, yeah. Which is very important because then she gets to meet her win condition where she sets up a grenade, sets up the uh, a hidden missile up above, yeah. and then kind of pesters you with her 5A, 2A. And if any of that hits, she just confirms, runs it again, gets her meter back, and then you slowly think to yourself, all right, I'm gonna just guard cancel and get out, right? Then it's like, no, she's still got the zoner strengths where yep. she's got full screen projectiles that can test you that go back to the same situation again. Yeah, she's such a flexible character, right? Because you have the long range game, which is obvious, right? She has uh, just she just has a bunch of guns and grenades. <laughs> uh, but you know, dominating the mid range too with 5A. And then honestly, once you get the Oki, she does really well close range because her strike throw game with the with the bomb coming down, mm -hmm. you get a full combo. And now that combo hurts so <laughs> badly with the gun moves. Because uh, now now that you can uh, call hit and missile, dash up throw if it combos. At that point, you're getting your uh, MP back yeah. over time. So it's like, oh, I could just run my strongest combo into the same loop once again. Yeah, she's and got the sepulch. Yeah, so it's like so it's like 
it really does feel like a lot of the characters, people were just like, oh, this character definitively is the worst character in the game. Yes. It's no longer the case anymore. It's not, it's not. Yeah, and you know, Grappler's always been there, but now Grappler is so much more volatile. So much more volatile. Like when he's in Awakening and he can just cancel special, 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 he, <laughs> you, you literally just die. Like when you get hit by anything, maybe other than 5A depending, you just sat on the controller, like it's over. Yeah, cause like you're worried about getting a uh, wall bounced mid screen and you're just like, oh, I seem to have messed up and they couldn't break his armor. All right, looks like we're getting into it. They've probably done their button check. Yes, they're going Yes, right they in. have, yeah. So Launcher immediately starting out this long range game. Kubo, his mission, just get in. Get in and go hard. All this is inconsequential. Oh, there it is. Back to mid screen. Good roll forward by Gendur. Gonna yes. try to carry to the corner. Probably do a grenade missile setup. There's the missile, strike throw, goes for the uh, strike. Nice. All right, opens up Kubo low with the 2A. Missile combos as well. Getting that meter back, very nice. Run it again, same play, exact same situation, but this time Kubo blocking. And now uh, Ganondorf having to play that range. No oh. mana, but hits with a grenade. Uh -oh. oh, just do it again, <laughs> just do it again. And you are taking so much damage from this. All right, let's see if he decides to spend all his meter here or just go for a setup after. Is this a oh! oh! All right, that's, that's the yeah, end of the you, round. <laughs> you are dead. <laughs> Oh my god. And then that's the strength that Kubo has is uh, he only needs that one chance, but it feels way more stronger in this game than most other games that I've seen Kubo play in years past. Yes. Yeah, Kubo, a very, very, very strong player. Plays pretty much everything. Yes. Uh, BB Tag, DBFZ, uh, just, just a solid guy and honestly a nice guy. Yeah, yeah. He, right. He's here to play games that hit you with like silly stuff that you didn't think existed. The grappler players are just here to have fun, comma, and win tournaments. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and already, uh, Ganondorf is in the corner. All blocks to jump S. Yeah, strike down mix up. Ooh, all right. DP's out of that block screen. Doesn't have to deal with it anymore. Oh. Yeah, 5A shutting down the charge. Does the uh, slide. Makes a save with the grenade. Grenade acting a lot like Pineberry from Elfelt. Hits with the 5A. Gonna go for a reset? Yes, does, but does not bite. But not able to punish. All right, Ganondorf finally getting their turn back to have a full meter. Again, using that grenade, just amazing spacing from Gendorf oh. all night, but it doesn't matter. Yep, the roll forward, getting the punish afterwards, and that is game one to Kubo. Kubo's so good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like, when, you, when you've when spent years playing characters that people deem as bottom tier, yes. you, you gotta just be like, well, I'm just gonna be better than you. And honestly, I think most people found out about Kubo from Marvel 3 way back in, like, 20, 2011, 2012, so it's, it's nice to see people finally actually looking at him and seeing like, oh, he's a pretty good fighting game player where the real uh, degenerates know him from he, that dude beat That dude beat me at Evo. He is not, <laughs> I've known that for a long time. <laughs> All right, but starting with the anti-air. Again, Flamethrower now able to special cancel, getting some additional damage. Oh God. Nice, punish. All yep. right, the corner carry there. And honestly, Kubo's just willing to, yeah, he's gonna eat that throw. He has. Grapple has the highest HP in the game. Not yeah. much doing. Not an awakening, but that missile unfortunately uh -oh. puts her in there into awakening. And uh -oh. now again, this is how it starts. Look at that health bar. That was like the simplest combo ever. Why did he do so much damage? <laughs> he's grappler, he's angry. Well, he's supposed <laughs> to grapple the damage. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm pretty sure he's dead. Because he's he oh, got to awakening he's already. Dead. Yeah, he's dead. He's super dead. This guy's dead. <laughs> I mean, if you don't like Grappler, uh... Oh! oh he wait, drops it! Wait, alright, that's Commentator's Curse, it's fine. That's how, we, that's how you know we're doing our job. <laughs> that's what we're here for. Yeah. <laughs> alright, so now Ganondorf is just like, please stay away from me. Yeah, Ganondorf trying to change the future here. Uh, <laughs> honestly, was dead, still alive. Oh! oh too what the far! Wait, I think he's dead. I think he's dead too! Oh! oh Ganondorf's gonna super! Um, that, that is unfortunate, honestly. The future's been changed. Ganondorf stole the round. He is, stole the treasure. Is, is that like the butterfly effect where it's like the one thing just happened all of a sudden? It's like, oh, actually, you're going to drop your combo. Yeah, you should have just supered and kept it simple. You know what? I'll, and with the super pose, why not? Yeah. Pose for the camera. All right, so Ganondorf gets a round on the board. Honestly, uh, we take those because this could have been looking very different. Yeah, throwing out that grenade, controlling the space. When their grenade's out, it's really hard to do much of anything, and that tackle is pretty much designed just to beat the grenade. <laughs> oh my, wake up, jump. Oh, jump ass. Oh, oh jump the throw, so good. And the DP, the BBQ, back to mid-screen. All right. Yeah, you can see Kobo scheming, good conversion to stay in. Oh my! Oh! 
Okay, does not get the punish. But using plus frames? Ah. Uh, yeah, good throw, good throw. All right. Let's see how much meter he decides to dump here to get another setup. Yeah, gonna go for another mix up rather than spend, spend it all. You know, the Oki's more important. Oh my but, god. But uh, Ganondorf getting out, but uh, Kubo just desperate to stay in, going all in. All right, good meter uses from Ganondorf. But he has to be careful though, because uh, Kubo's getting to that state where two good combos probably ends the round. Now he's in Awakening. Oh, we're out. Oh, oh my god. This does not convert. Oh! oh! Right. What? No pickup. Oh, oh my god. No, no guard cancel. Box the charge. Hit the uh, charge. The wall bounce. Uh, that's GG. That is GG. <laughs> that's, that's the scariest thing about Grappler is you eventually have to remember that, oh, he's just going to try to charge tackle me to, to try to get a wall bounce or something. Yeah. But then every time you respect, he kind of just gets in and you're like, wait, exactly. this is the only thing I don't want. Yeah, if you're afraid to throw 5As, if you're afraid to throw flamethrowers, uh, he's going to get in on you and it's going to hurt just as much as any wall bounce tackle. Oh, Ooh, good DP, beats the command grab. All right, getting some of the small damage here, keeping Grappler at bay. That's some nice chip damage. Oh good roll through, I like that option a lot. All right, Grenade goes off. Oh, gets hit by charge of this. Yeah, gonna get some good damage. Again, Oki's more important. <laughs> keep, just keep on doing it. Just do it over and over, why not? If it wins neutral, just go ham. Uh, honestly, Kubo's fine eating this damage because he's an Awakening once again. Yeah, and now Ganondorf afraid to throw out any specials, right? Because it'll activate Awakening, and that allows Kubo to get in and seal this match. The, the fact that Charge Jump S gets so big on the way, like from the way up to the way down means that if you don't have an immediate response of like, yes. like back dash, roll forward, anti-air, he's just in and you're like, well, uh, I guess I gotta like play Grappler's game. And honestly, dealing with like partial charge, 5S is like really scary because then you have to worry about, all right, is this plus enough for me not to get command grab? Yeah. Or is he just gonna do, immediate top command grab is like, all right, I guess I'm dead. It, it's really scary too, because that jump kick, like the answer from launcher is not as clear as some other characters. Like mm. you can DP it, but like the big the big rewards, right? Like the two beat the grenade yeah. or the run under. You don't want to run under grappler, but even though it's honestly like your best option, but the grenade has to be predicted, right? Yes. So Kubo recognizing that, you know, Ganondorf playing a little scared, not anti-airing and just, just went ham. Yeah, hold he up. He just went ham. Just hold up and press the S button or hold the S button. Whichever one you prefer, but Kubo moves on. Uh, should be in winner's finals, I believe. Yes, he is in winner's finals. All right, so he gets to play a three out of five, uh, depending on who wins this next matchup next. Yeah, which is uh, Blue Linkies and a Tenured Mule. Mule. Yeah, so this will be uh, Hitman versus Swiftmaster. Yes. I know a lot of people are like, oh, Swiftmaster's dead, right? He he can no longer be the best character in the game by miles, but he's still, he's still in the lineup. Strong character, not the most oppressive character ever. Yeah, he's not nearly as oppressive. He lost a lot of his damage and his mana regen. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, Blue Linkies is one of the best DNF players out there, which is why he's in Winner's Top 8, obviously. Yeah. But he, uh, his Swiftmaster play is just so clean. It's so clean. He ran over so many Crusaders in Bracket, and he, <laughs> he hates with a capital H that matchup. He doesn't care. He thinks it's 7-3. He's like, I don't care. It's 3-7 I, I tonight. Mean, I mean, I guess after the buffs, it's 7-3. Yeah. Before, it's probably 7-3 in the other direction. Yes. Yeah, it definitely was. It definitely <laughs> was. I mean, like, Crusader not able to be fuzzied anymore, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh. I, well, I don't, I don't I, Like, I kind of don't understand that, but I do because, you know, he's tall. A lot of characters have long reach and normals from the yeah. air to the ground. But it's like, come on. He has to have, like, another, you know, he, he's a big character. Just give him the weakness. Yeah, and he's a big, strong, good character. Uh, oh, yes, now yes. he is. Yeah, yeah, and we're going to see one in Losers, but right now we got Hitman and Swiftmaster. And, uh, you know, one character that can still kind of do the fuzzy is Hitman, right? Yes. The JA and the conversion JA. Yeah, he he kind of kept everything. And the, only, the only real thing that he suffers is the fact that his DP is actually punishable yes. by, by almost everybody in the cast, because I think you need a seven frame, two A minimum. Yeah, you do, and I believe everyone has a seven frame, but the thing is, is uh, his DP reaches really far. Oh, yeah. So, but Swiftmaster obviously has no problem with that. I believe he can actually micro dash 5A punish. Oh. Yeah, so uh, I believe he has a six frame. All right, starting off pretty strong for Blue Linkies. Yeah, I gotta see some loops here. The loops you know and love. I mean, this used to do way more damage before. Yes, he used to basically do like 70%. But, you know, the, one of the disadvantages of uh, Swiftmaster getting so many nerfs is that Tenured Mule, Hitman, strives. He loves to get that Awakening, right? Oh, yeah. And it's going to be so hard for Blue Linkies if he's not in an Awakening of his own to, uh, to, you know, push him through it and kill him without him entering it. Oh. Like, when he gets Awakening, it's going to be trouble. And right now, it's trouble <laughs> for Blue Linkies as he eats 
all this damage. And a safe jump. Oh, and over there ahead. it is. I don't care how small you are. You are getting hit by that. It's a gun. What are you going to do? He's, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, oh yeah, because he got that buff from the, the 2B into uh, the confirm map, which yes. was very nice. Yeah, yeah. That, that's weird to say, right? Like, Hitman got a buff like that when it's like, it's a quality of life buff as opposed to, oh, he just straight up, you know, starts to murder you even faster now. Yeah, he even got some uh, new quarter combos too because his jump MP uh, mm. interacts differently now. So, uh, a character who already was very strong. Oh no, misses the slam! Oh, uh, uh, will take that with the side swap. Gonna get a knockdown and set up an orb afterwards. Yeah, we'll see what the mix-up is after. Yep, you've seen it before. Here we go. Oh, wow, actually it goes for the OTG and backs up. Doesn't want to put out the orb. He's, he's a whole... Oh, Ooh! I was going to say his spacing was pretty good, but then he got clipped by 2B on the on the way out. I mean, we all get clipped by 2B. That, yeah. that, moves, that moves really good. Yeah. <laughs> that's a, that's an it happens moment. All right, going to... Might push to the corner to get another mix-up, but let's see if Blue Link is decides to play more full screen neutral. Yeah, again, going for the OTG. He must know something we don't, because I would go for the orb. But, uh, oh, oh my god, never mind! What am I talking about? He actually tried to move <laughs> full screen afterwards. It's like, no, you actually have to respect that, or at least guard camp, one of those two. I, I literally blinked and Blue Link was getting DP'd. I don't even know what happened. He, he tried to walk. He tried to walk back and got clipped by 2 feet again. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Like, Swiftmaster is a fast moving character, but you used to have to worry about lows that will clip you out of your walk speed. Yeah, I mean, this game notorious for having uh, moves that just blow up the entire screen, but actually, Blue Linky is starting with a lot of damage here on Sunday Mule. A conversion that wow. actually almost enters Awakening doesn't. Definitely wanted it. But it doesn't matter, right? Like, Hitman, you still have all this pressure. You're still 2B, but that is a big hit. That I should end the round. Yeah, you are dead. Well. You are definitely dead. Obviously, uh, uh, months past, everybody used to talk about the, the game plan about fighting Hitman was get him to right before he gets to Awakening. Yes. So that way, the next hit you get guarantees that you kill him because everyone has combos that do enough damage to get past that health bar. Yeah, and Blue Link, he's actually, uh, Swiftmaster, excuse me, has a really good advantage where a lot of his threatening normals are not, they don't cause chip damage, right? His yes. movement is what causes it, but. Mm -hmm. As I was saying that, Tenor Newell, oh my god, this pressure. <laughs> it got opened up by the last hit of the jump in. Oh god, yeah, goes for the reset. Gonna, oh my god! That, that, <laughs> yeah, that is terrifying, because you're like, I, I don't want to DP. No, I don't want to DP. Oh, <laughs> uh, instant overhead conversion. Oh, again! Uh, Why all not? The bullying. Why not? Tenor Newell, you bully. I mean, and he still had more afterwards, too. That's the wild part. So, continuing Mule on set point, free pretty quickly, honestly. Yeah, he's uh, he's really running through Swiftmaster, you know. Everyone got a lot of health buffs, Swiftmaster not so much, so. Still a low health character. Uh, he he kind of like suffered for his sins, unfortunately, where it's like, oh yeah, let's like nerf a lot of his damage, and then like he got a, a health buff, a health nerf as well, and it's like, mm, maybe that was kind of extreme. Bro, he deserves all of it. He deserves, he deserves <laughs> nothing and should get nothing. <laughs> I am sorry. <laughs> it, was, it was like half a year. It wasn't even a full year of uh, his dominance. Bro, half a year too long. Half a year too long. <laughs> In this day and age, probably, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Well, that goes like close to half your life. Yeah, gonna go for the high low mix. There it is. But unfortunately, drops it. You can't punish that, but you do get the rollout. Oh, and. <laughs> Blue Linkies is not having any luck. Okay. Yeah. He's just having trouble starting his offense, right? Like, he gets one hit and he's like scared of the DP and he backs up. And uh, because of that tenure, Newell was able to front an offense of his own, and yeah, it's it's working for him for sure. Yeah, you can see how Tenure Mule's kind of just like trying to poke at max range with uh, 5 b 2 b Oh my god. And that is most likely the end of the set, provided this does not drop. Oh, oh my god, commentator's curse, there it is. <laughs> All right, this is the guard cancel my turn, throw. Yeah, oh, 2A, oh. 2A, 2A, 2A. Nice. Tenured Mule over Blue Linkies. Blue Linkies being sent to losers, that was the winner's match. Mm -hmm. And uh, Tenured Mule going to go fight Koopo in winner's finals. Hitman versus Grappler. Well, the Hitman's the one one of the things that stays uh, consistent throughout uh, all of these top eights. Yeah. There's one really strong Hitman. It's not to say that, you know, obviously, like, oh, we should have expected this. Uh, Tenured Mule is a strong player. They played a lot of the net play events. Yes. Uh, Blue Linkies as well, actually. You'll see both of them usually in uh, Yipes' uh, can opener series. Yeah. And usually TNS as well when they run that. Is yeah, yeah. Both of them, like, 
pretty much at every top eight at every online event. Yes. Uh, secretly, I'm a huge Tender Buell fan. I actually really love his play. Is it because of Hitman, or is it because like they actually play like a, a person? I think the fact that I like his play and he plays Hitman is a testament to how much I like Tender Buell's <laughs> play. He play he pl he just he plays the game really well. Yeah, yeah, he's he's. He's really calculated and figuring out like, okay, when you want to try to walk back away from his pressure, you're trying to worry about guard cancel, then he hits it with DP. Yep. And then when you're like, oh, they, he's not gonna DP. He's just like, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna do it anyway. I don't care. I mean, he played like he's so calm when he plays. When he qualified for top eight, he sat there with his like hands on the controller and was just like, all right, and then he just <laughs> walked away. And now he's in winners finals and he's like, all, all right. right. It's, yeah, an yeah, it's yeah. another day. It's like <laughs> I just need to win the tournament. That's all. He's him, man, bro. It's another day on the job. You know, yeah. he's just he's just going to work. He's got to pay the bills. <laughs> Don't I mean, I, uh, so tell me about it, but uh, <laughs> this is a good chance for a lot of people who haven't already qualified. Well, there's only eight, there's only there, there are only supposed to be eight spots, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yes. I don't think there's an LCQ, so like you need to go through the arduous task of going to each major and having to grind through a bunch of players. So oh, yeah. It is very important to be consistent as you go on and play, and I think Tenyu Mila has a really good chance on beating Kubo to make it in, but. Every time I see Kubo at uh, one of the overseas tournaments, I'm like, he's like, he, he's like one or two matches away from just winning. Yes. He doesn't get there, unfortunately, but this might be his time. Yeah, and uh, with the exception of uh, Yu Sung Cha, who we're gonna see now, uh, none of these players <laughs> have actually qualified for Arc Revo. Yes. So the winner of this tournament does qualify for that huge tournament, and uh, yeah, it's. It, you have to win this. There's no second place unless Yu Sung Cha pulls it out. But I mean, that's, no, that's possible. That's like, po it's definitely possible. Yeah, like, but he, he's well. I don't want to say he's gatekeeping. He's definitely just trying to play to, to win the money, obviously. Yeah. But uh, uh, it's it's nice to it's nice to you know tell people like, hey, you're not as good as you think you are. <laughs> it's like, hey, I won this tournament too. I flew all the way out to America to win your tournament. Now you have to come see me again later. Yeah, the Kazunoko effects. Oh, <laughs> he's, try, he's trying to win too. Bro, do you remember when Kazunoko? What was it? When he was going to like every like Exert yes. Dragon Ball event and he was just, oh, this is a qualifier. I won that. I won this. I won this. He had yeah. like five Dragon Balls or something. Yeah, I definitely was in and out four LCQs in a row in about five hours. Oh, I, you, you yeah, went through that hell? I went, th I went through the gauntlet. Yeah, thank you, Kazunoko. So listen, we don't have that here. There's no LCQs. If you <laughs> if you do not win this tournament, this uh, so let's say Kyusung Cha wins this match and goes through all of losers and, and wins the tournament, uh, what's going to happen is the second place person will qualify, right? So there's no mm. LCQ. So Luckily, that, that nonsense isn't going to happen, but first he's got to get through Lupro. Lupro, uh, one of the best Dragon Knights, outplacing another Arc Revo qual qualifier, uh, uh, Lossel. Lossel. Yep. L Lossel <coughs> getting sent out not too early, but it wasn't enough to make it into top eight. Uh, you know, he already made the qualifications for like trying to win some extra money, yeah. trying to get some extra practice in before the finals in uh, March. Uh, yeah, and, and he actually uh, lost the winner's finals of his bracket. He had, oh, I didn't he had, know that. Yeah, he had a demon bracket. Uh, me and him were chilling. He uh, he lost to Vermeer. Or no, he beat Vermeer barely. Uh, beat a really good launcher, like round one pools, and then uh, got knocked out. I forget against who, but a winner's finals. Uh, so he he had a big gauntlet to face. And, uh, yeah, he couldn't make it here. But actually, um, Lupro, same situation. He lost in winner's finals of his pools. To Ooh. Masoma, and he actually outplaced Masoma here, <laughs> and he is now in top eight. So he's gone through the gauntlet. He's fought like ten matches. <laughs> that's what. Unfortunately, that's what. Happened. Obviously, when you lose, you have to play more matches. But in bigger brackets, sometimes you have to wait longer to play other people, especially yes. if you have to wait through like other winners' finals and stuff like that. And that gets kind of grating, not being able to perform. But yeah. So Lupro is like super warm because of that. He's mm. played so many top players. Uh, and yeah, add that to the, the heat of his ballroom. He's, he is hot as <laughs> I hope you're not too hot because that, that causes heat stroke combined with the frostbite that's outside because it's like minus 20. <laughs> All right, so Ghost Blade starting pressure. Lupro going for a conversion, tries to anti air, but that, it doesn't bite. <laughs> oh, nice instant overhead with the flight. <laughs> All right. Oh, drops the confirm, but still keeping their turn. Oh, gets the teleport to get out and get a confirm, but Astra still playing spoiler. Oh, Astra the homie. Pokemon uh -oh. assist. The so block right. conversion makes it safe. Gets the pressure started. Starts the ghost sandwich. Oh, nice five B. This should kill. Yes. Yeah. You have all the meter in the world. Just make sure you don't drop. Oh no! The second hit of forest and connect. That does rarely happen when you do forest too early, but. Oh. Uh. Oh, thank you, Astra. <laughs> thank you, Astra. Oh, yeah. Swinging the baseball bat. 
It's the I win neutral button, and when Dragon Knight uh, enters Awakening, she basically has a little bit of mana. Right, so you, right, you yeah. can swing that all day. Oh, nice anti air. All right, keeping pressure. Astra, you know, just throws out some extra fireball, but it does eat up a lot of mana when you use all of it. Woo! It does, yeah. And he has some chance spending all of his mana to get this pressure, but Looper not biting. Roll is able to block. Oh my god. What a, <laughs> what a turn of events. I thought he was going to swing in there and try to be very. Yeah, and look at this pressure here from Lupro. Using the Astra A fireballs, uh, the sequence of them to get in. Continue, pull him to the corner. Uh, you can see how Lupro's not biting on any of those setups. Because it looks like Yusung Khan's trying to get them to attack a throw, but that's, nothing's happening. Yeah, he's not biting. Oh, nice roll chase. Ooh. Roll's oh. got buff, don't worry. <laughs> I got them reactions. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. Oh, fighting gets opened up low. Not dead because there's no more action. Yeah, I don't think there's enough meter to kill here. Yeah. So Lupro will get another chance. And since he's in Awakening, it definitely will kill if he can confirm any hit. But oh, oh the low, the yeah. Same setup is so scary because you're you're expecting the uh, the jump A to hit. Yeah. I think if you time it correctly, they hit on the same frame. Yeah, it is true mix. It is true mix. Oh, nice 5A to slot uh, Dragon Knight out there. Oh, no. Why'd oh, you get hit by the 6 MS? All right, solid footies here. Gonna put Lubro back in the corner. Ghost man doing his thing. Uh -oh. oh, drops the combo, but not able to punish. Pretty fast recovery on that move. Gonna get some mix. Oh. Nice throw, and another fireball coming from behind to start this offense. Oh, and using the new <laughs> 2S, 2S buff to go into flight. Gets uh -oh. the mix, gets the hit, doesn't confirm, and do some cha. That should be capitalizing. The, yep, that yeah, in the round. Yeah, you're dead. Oh my god, oh. what am I talking about? <laughs> every time, every time. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, that that is the foolproof proof way to know that you're a real commentator. Yeah. Is that every time you're like, oh yes, this match is already over. There's no way they drop the combo. They proceed to do so, and it's like, ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yes, I see. I have uh, changed the future. I mean, when you're on that last situation, like you need ex clutch factor. Oh yeah, To definitely. be able to secure it, you know, it's playing on the stage. It's so nervous. But both these players acting pretty composed here. Oh my God. Nice. Immediately swatting DK out of the air. Getting the throw and starting this uh, neutral game. Oh, all right. That nice. could have been real scary, but uh, Astra being the homie took the hit. Yeah, and it looks like the uh, Dragon and follow up from Astra. So only going to get a basic combo here. But this throw is going to convert into a lot of damage and a setup. Mm -hmm. All right, but uh, still has to. Oh, yeah, just dash up and gets another throw. Yeah, really good throw. I believe this will kill. No, it does not kill. All right, last chance to see if there's a. Oh, oh, the rising J.A. So smart. That is the, uh, you did not meet me correctly, so I get out. Wait, he won the round. Yeah, he won the round off that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that feels so bad. It's what? Like, you're, like, you're like, oh, you're going to respect me this time because you got thrown twice. It's like, what if I think you're going to throw him? He's going to do a rising normal. I mean, like, both players playing a really solid game and just randomly like, I'm going to rising J.A. and it hits and it kills. <laughs> I mean, even if it got blocked, uh, he still keeps his turn because he's just going to call ghost. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yeah, so, so really smart decision making and awareness from Yusung Cha. All right, so Lupro getting the first hit with good corner carry. Should get a safe jump as, uh... Yeah, too much paration there. Ooh. Gonna start some pressure. Goes play by being out. Good, uh, good awareness, Yusung Cha. Knew that the jump was coming up to 2S. He faced the wrong way, unfortunately, but still keeps the turn. Oh, gets hit by the jump S explosion. All right, full corner carry. Ooh, a little bit too early on the jump S again. Yeah, that's that's a pretty awkward confirm, honestly. Oh. All right, no anti-airs, which is totally fine. Rolls out, still in pressure, but you do uh, get out of the corner, which is honestly for Ghost Blade. A character so neutral focused, it's a big win. Oh, wait for some sort of reversal. Nothing comes through it. Oh, oh wow, 5A mash, I love it. We're just trading. Oh wait, you're about to get guard broken, even though you have 100 meter. Yeah, I cannot block a single hit. Oh, the 5A. Getting blown up by Astra and Jump S. All right, Lupro still, still got a chance. Oh, again, the 6 MS, this might be out of the air. Yeah, no Lupro, no Lupro wants to jump. I mean, DK, a character that thrives being in the air. Yosung Cha just shutting that down. Oh. All right, one more fireball on the way. Good defense. But he's about to get guard broken. God, Yusung Cha just cannot be opened up right now. He manages to get out with the teleport. Uh, 5A confirmed. Oh my god. How did you get into the corner? What happened? Ghostblade, bro. He's just doing things. Uh, yeah. 
Oh, he's ducked too early. So good. And Yo Sung Cha moving on over Lupro. He has a good chance. He actually has a good chance to win this tournament. <laughs> oh. he's, he's like, you, be, you better watch out. You better watch out for me. I'm going to win this tournament, and then I'm going to go win our three vote. He has, I mean, unless, uh, so he, he streams pretty frequently. Yes. And uh, he also helps host online tournaments for Korea. Oh, nice. And their scene over there is pretty strong, too. They have a bunch, they, all, they also have a bunch of DKs, they have Vanguards, they have all other Crusaders as well, and they're pretty balanced out. Honestly, I wish there was an LCQ just to see them. Uh, I'll duke it out. Yeah, because like you want to see like uh, like 200 people show up to play for one spot, that'd be great. Oh, I love the bracket of death. I love a good bracket of death. It's like you wake up at 9 a.m. and say, all right, uh, this is your only chance to get into the main tournament, and you have to play for like 12 hours. And then, yeah. Uh, honestly, that stuff's pretty fun, but it, it can also be really grueling because a game like DNF is super stressful because you could be winning and all of a sudden it's like, wait, I died because I got hit off someone who's in Awakening. Yeah, I mean, it, it's a, uh, I wouldn't call this game volatile, but mm. I mean, like, anything could happen in this game, yes, right? Anything exactly. could happen. The better player will usually win, but anything could happen. But honestly, like, here at this tournament, right, because it is the last qualifier for the World Tour, mm. uh, most people came. Yeah. Like, most people came. That's why this bracket is so stacked. <laughs> like, these are the top eight players for a reason. Like, mm. they are here because they wanted that spot. Uh, but unfortunately, Looper not going to be able to take it. But, you know, I love seeing DK representation as a DK player. Like, you got to do it. And he plays my color also. Ah, okay. I allow him to do that. He's, <laughs> he's allowed to do that. There's only, like, eight colors in the game? Yeah, I think there's about eight. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we will have to do, get some ads out yeah. of the way for you guys. But we will be back in, like, two, three minutes. So yeah. stick around. Stay tuned. Watch who uh, is helping make Frosty Fosters happen. Yes. Hello. Welcome back to Frosty Fosters 15. DNF Dual Top 8. I am Fox. Joined here this evening with... Hi, I'm Yehozi. What's up? And so far, we've had a we're having a pretty good top eight. We have some more matches lined up, and this is a qualifier the Arc Rebel World Tour. So, in case you're wondering, like, is Young Chung Cha gonna like gatekeep everyone, take their money, and say like, hey, second place, you did a good job? We have to see. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to see. Right now, we got uh, Tales of Mr. E versus, versus uh, Kazum Kai. Tales of Mr. E, a Crusader player, uh, and actually had a crazy run here to top eight. Lost in winners finals of his pool. And it had to kill some absolute killers in uh, Riazzo and Taco to get here. So, very strong player, very strong Crusader. Crusader character that got crazy buffed. Yes. Uh, fighting another character that got crazy buffed, Kazum Kai with Vanguard. Uh, I know a lot of people thought that uh, at the before the major patch in December, thought Vanguard was like whatever. He's not a good character. Yeah. But the, the real people who knew about Vanguard were like, this character is gate kept by like six six other characters, and the fact that he can't have access to his specials outside of. Uh, his S block first. Yeah, yeah, and uh, Cousin Kai, you know, you don't know had to beat to get in the, to, in the top eight. It'd be no. Diaphone's Vanguard. <laughs> that, so, <laughs> good luck to everyone in top eight. Cousin Kai clutching it out. Uh, yeah, very, very, very strong Vanguard. We did not see him play to qualify for top eight, so mm -hmm. this is our first time seeing him. So I'm excited to see what he's got. I know a lot of people are just like, uh, Crusader got all these buffs, he's unstoppable. A lot of Japanese players actually rank this character like number one, number two. Yeah. And there's good reasons. All his buffs matter a lot. His health, hat, you know, being the highest health character in the game means uh, it takes more combos than normal to, to get get through it and win the round. And honestly, his combos hurt way more now that he got new routes. Yeah, they hurt much more and they spend way less mana. Vanguard, a character that just honestly got like adjusted to the point where he's fixed. <laughs> and so like now this long range to mid range character can really threaten. And uh, immediately rolling through that uh, back MP. And here's that combo we talked about. So many orbs. Like, he, all of that doesn't use that much meter, and he gets a free setup as well. He's privileged. Uh, by God, anyway. He's privileged by God. God <laughs> granted him the power. <laughs> oh, my God. Ugh. And, now uh -huh. he, and he gets a regen, and he gets a knockdown. Oh, are you dead? Oh, you're, you're dead. You died from that? Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tales of Mr. E. He's kind of nice, though. He is kind of nice. Oh, the dash block. <laughs> Both players afraid. Oh, round start, 5A right after. It gets counter hit, gets a big confirm. Might actually be close to half-life to this uh, routing. Yeah, very optimal routing. Puts up the shield, causing that uh, big pillar to appear. Extra guard break damage. Oh my extra God. damage, extra plus flames. It is so hard to contest him when he has that up. Oh, no! Yeah, and Kazukai just backing up and causing him to put get the corner and get hit. Wait, did he die? I think he might be dead. No, okay, uh, okay, not dead, not he takes dead. The set up. Yeah, rolls out. Oh, oh no! The pillar of God <laughs> smiting him from the sky. That's another uh, reason why fighting 
uh, Crusade is really tough because when he has that buff on, his uh, his 5D, the, it, with that buff, it, it makes jumping so dangerous because you just get sniped from way higher than you normally would think. Yeah, and if you get hit by that, you take a lot of damage. Oh, nice uh, roll into throw. Oh, Cousin no. Ka yeah, Cousin Guy didn't get a lot of opportunities to show off last round, but he is not asleep. He is awake, and that is so plus. You can now press buttons after that. Yeah, especially if it's spaced correctly. It's you have to ha you have to be willing to take a risk with DP or something. Yes, this is the only option. All right, uh, gets a safe jump, empty jump throw. Good throw, good throw. Uh -oh. Another throw. Kazum Kai putting on a clinic right now. Oh, oh. All right, so Mr. Mr. E did not swing afterwards. Yes, yup. Nice five A. Just uh, Kazum Kai answering back with actually perfect. Yeah, he, he managed to uh, get his game plan like immediately, putting Mr. E into the corner. Oh my God. Yeah, saying, Mr. E, you cannot be confident right now. You, <laughs> I want to slay that confidence. Oh my, well. I mean, you know, it happens. <laughs> this, this just happens. You get tagged by a random wall. Yep. All right. Oh! Good rolling to throw. Yeah, getting rid of that shield. All right, now I guess to uh, play his game. Conversion trying to get Mr. E to press the button preemptively. Yeah, nice strike throw. Oh, oh no, tries to roll through, but gets clipped. Oh my god. Well, he, at least he's not dead. Wow, was that on purpose? Yeah. There is no way that was on purpose. That was sick. He, I, I, I'm pretty sure I've seen him do that before in an uh, EU tournament. This man is optimal. Oh, but he got clipped by 5B in the air. Oh, he didn't die. Wait, he won. <laughs> oh, he, oh he, drops he, it. He didn't have any oh, more good, meter. Yeah, good throw attack. Good throw attack. But two way, that buff two way, not only buffed the startup, but also it's so plus now. It After throw versus Crusader, it's so tough if you don't have a faster normal. Mm. Oh my god. Round start dash up counter hit too late, confirm. Well, he deserved all of this, you know? I, oh my god, this is your death. I, I, I think it's around. That's not the start you want to get hit by. All right. Look at all of this. Oh, Orbs coming out, shields up. He, look at this damage, bro. <laughs> look he, at it. He's dead. Look at it. He, okay, okay. Uh, it barely survives. <laughs> DP is right there. All right, reverse. He throw. says I will not get memed today. It is still my round. Five B's the conversion. Wait Starting all this damage, and he is super. Wait a minute. I wonder if he has the conversion down. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. OTG. Crowd going wild. Oh no! Oh, he's trying the to go for reset. <laughs> tries to go ham. Guard right. cancels out. Both characters in last situations. Tails of Mr. E just throwing projectiles, throwing hammers. Has to be careful, he doesn't have that much mana. Oh, the jump back spear, so risky. You have to worry about uh, Vanguard 5B, 5A. Oh, oh the footsies! Oh my god, the jump back, jump B. It's a big hammer, bro. That's a huge hammer. That's, that's <laughs> brave as hell. Because if you just get hit by 5B, you get slammed back to the ground, conversion happens, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, I, I lost the round. Cool, gotta play game three. But uh, Tails of Mr. E moves on in losers. And I think he has to play against a Young Sung Cha now. I believe. Uh, I believe so. Actually. Oh boy. I believe so. so. <laughs> that's gonna be gra um, that's gonna be Ghostblade versus Crusader. I know a lot of people think that. I, at least before, a lot of people were just like, "Oh yeah, Ghostblade just bullies Crusader yeah. for free." Like that's he can't do anything. And now with these buffs, I actually don't know what happens anymore. Yeah, I mean either. I, I it's actually not a matchup I'm very familiar with. Mm, it's, yeah. It's one of those th things that has like small nuance where like, okay, you don't want to interact with his armor with your 2A. Yes. But your 2A also outranges almost everything he does minus like uh, jump jump back spear. Because you might not be able to tag him, but uh, jump startup is a thing. You got to worry about him just willing to DP on your Oki. Uh, oh, actually, it looks like we got Yosung Cha versus uh, Ganondorf. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Yeah, Ganondorf uh, with the launcher, Yosung Cha with the ghost blade. So two characters that both want to <laughs> thrive in that mid range. Mm. Uh, this is also a matchup. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not very familiar with. Oh, this uh, it's it's one of those matchups where, uh, well, previously it was, uh, Launcher used to get bullied until she can like you know get to her 5A 2A range with bully Ghostblade. Yes. And it's like all right, you press the button first and we'll see what happens on your 5A 2A. And then like she got to slowly chip away at Ghostblade, but Ghostblade's damage output was way too high comparatively. Yeah. But now it's like oh she can just get better setups with hidden missile grenade. Yeah. Uh, her DP also being able to nullify uh, certain timings of his like say, uh, call, delay, jump A to A setups. Okay. So I think now it might be better for her, but I haven't seen this match too much either. Yeah, and I imagine, you know, everyone here is grinding for that spot. So I would imagine that these both these players know the matchup very well at yeah. this point. Yeah, mm. so uh, 
Yeah, I am looking forward to watching some Ghost play. I love watching Ghost play. That character's too cool. Yeah, he's cool as hell. He's so cool. Everybody's just like, oh man, Ghost play's kind of kind of lame. I'd rather play a Berserker, and I'm like, you play a character that's like, oh, you pop, you back dash, pop, uh, pop blood, and you're just like, all right, cool, I'm gonna run in, and if you put me into Awakening, it's your own fault because then you know. He gets several OTGs, he gets his life back, he has a command grab. I see, I don't want to play the character who's on the box. That's like the default character. Uh, <laughs> you know, like I just don't want to play like, oh, this is the character that's on the box, I'm gonna play that character. But that character's usually really good. I mean, Berserker is really good. Surprisingly, we actually have no Berserkers in top eight, which to me is wild, because yeah. it is slowly becoming the opinion of US players that Berserker is the best character best in the game. game yes. Yeah, yeah. He got so many buffs, but unfortunately, all the Berserkers uh, died in top 48. Mm. Yeah, so. Uh, what a world we live in. <laughs> what a world we live in. Because I, I know a lot of people, you know, different regions have dissenting opinions about which character is the strongest or amongst the strongest. So again, uh, J Japan's idea is the fact that uh, Crusader is the best character. Yeah. Here in NA, we're like, oh, no, it's Berserker. Wait, that's Berser this is a button check, right? Uh, I believe it is, yes. Okay. It, I mean, it has to be. I, I think Berserker is the default character. <laughs> that you highlight, you just mash on? Yeah, just mash. That's all Berserker players do anyways. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I didn't want to say it. I'll say it. I'll take the heat. Don't worry. I mean, I, I like calling people's ma mashers usually, but... Uh, it depends on how you say it. Because, like, you can be a respectful masher, you know? Mm, a well-timed button press. A well yeah, well-timed abare. Abare. Abare versus mashing, you know? Fuzzy abare. Fuzz fuzzy abare <laughs> versus fuzzy mash. Yeah. All right, yeah. Everyone's button set correctly. We're going to be getting into it soon. Yes, and we do have the launcher ghost blade as we expected. Mm -hmm. Who wins, sword or gun? Uh, based off history, it's usually guns, and I'm not talking about like anime or video games. Like or real life, yeah, real history. <laughs> like yeah. real life, sword versus gun. Yeah. Gun wins. You're right. You're right. But what about two swords? What about a sword plus a ghost? A ghost. I mean, there have been talks in history books that like, oh yeah, I've seen spiritual beings, and I'm like. I would never want to see a spiritual being. I would shoot the spiritual being with a gun. Well, that, that's what I would do. I mean, that's that's assuming it's like one of those special guns that can hit spirits. I would just shoot it with any old gun. <laughs> I'd be like, get out of my house. <laughs> Please leave, be gone. And that's going to be launcher 5A. Get out of my house, you ghost. I don't even know what she's using to shoot with her 5A. Like, I, I that's like some weird gun gauntlets. I don't know. She's got the arsenal. She, she is strapped up. She's ready to go. Literally has everything imaginable in terms of a fucking projectile. Yeah, yeah. All right, both players, they're getting war they're like getting their last warm-ups in, making sure they're not sweaty. Breathing easy. Mm. Yeah, so uh, Yusung Cha versus uh, Ganondorf here. Ganondorf from France, I believe, mm -hmm. and Yusung Cha from Korea. Mm. So I'm pretty sure Yusung Cha has a good idea, like, how this matchup should go now. Yep. But uh, it's, it is definitely one of those things where, like, you need to be able to execute as you play the uh, person across from you. Yeah, so we'll see if Ganondorf can uh, stay at that nice range, that 5A range. Ooh. Immediately blocking, but the grenade is out, gets hit by it. Hey, tagged by Flamethrower. Yeah, just a, just a very tip of Flamethrower. Teleports in, does not bite on the hit, but you do have to eat this mix-up now. Oh, nice. Yeah, solid damage. Gonna get corner carry and a setup from this. Oh, not the full corner. But still gets the setup. Oh. Ooh, the throw bait, but not able to get the strike in in time. Oh, grenade goes up. Yeah. Yeah. No combo. Oh, no. Well, time to go to the corner. Yeah. This is your punishment. It's okay. It happens. Breathe easy. All you got to do is bo uh, block Ghost Blade. It's so easy. You uh, know? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, people do say, like, oh, just use the, uh, the guard button to get around his, uh, you know, teleport mix up. Yeah, and then he get hit by, uh, I, you know, like the 50-50 overhead uh, though. Yeah. Oh, tries to poke, but gets uh, caught there by the side. All right, and the missile comes down, has to deal with the 5 8 2 way pressure. Yeah. Oh. yeah, at that point, you were threatening guard bar, right? Mm. So Yusung Cha felt uh, obligated to throw a button and uh, gets clipped for his trouble. Oh, immediate jump A round start. All right, holding that back. Grenade goes off early. Nice stalling in the air. Yeah, beautiful stall on the air. And all of this is from that. Oh, oh get out of the sky. And then gets hit, opened up low. So good uh, set of sequence for a young Sun Cha. Yeah, gonna, gonna get some really good damage in here. Uh-oh. Not much mana, only gets one setup, rolls out. But oh, good Counter clip hit. with the 2A. Yeah, this should be done. 
Oh, oh no. again, no. again, oh. I, I apologize. <laughs> I apologize to chat. <laughs> I apologize to Yusin Cha. I'm so sorry. That means you're not a fraud. That's all. I, that's all it does. I am definitely a fraud. That's. <laughs> <laughs> Commentator doesn't know the game. Get out of here. No, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ooh, all right, rolls up, but still gets contested by 2A right after. Yeah, this time, uh, Yosun Chao, wait for it. A, A. All right, let's see if uh, Ganondorf decides to guard yeah. cancel, but yeah. they're just holding on to all their meter. Oh, boy. Yeah, great defense on that mix-up. Gets oh. thrown, but guard cancels out. Tries to roll through something, gets out scot free. All right. Now, they're in Awakening, so if they get a clean hit, that's a lot of great health. Yeah, that, look at that guard bar, too. It's almost gone. Oh, no! And the, gr <laughs> the grenade, all that great health destroyed. So this is so bad, because not only is he going to eat all this damage, his guard bar is so low that on this meaty setup, if he blocks, he's in real trouble. Yeah, feels obligated to roll and gets out. All right, still a little guard bar. He's trying to get away from grenade. Still keeps the turn with the falling just piece. Good DP. All right, can't get the follow-up after. Going to go chase. Oh my, grenade's gonna go up, yep. Oh yeah. And now he's on a timer once again. Oh my. Ooh. Didn't miss that's it, through. that's it, guard yeah. break. Yeah, that's it. Oh my god, that was a clean play. So good from Ganondorf. I feel like a lot of other people would have uh, fallen through there once uh, Yosung Cha got free, and it was just like, mm, maybe I just need to wait a little bit in neutral. Yeah, had really good awareness of mana, really good awareness of guard bar there. Just like excellent resource management of his opponent, actually, from a oh! Good throw into the corner. Oh, and then the up back laser. He gets out of the uh, ghost pressure. Grenade. Whoops. Yeah, getting hit after that grenade. Stalls in the air, avoids the missile, and gets a lot of damage off this, too. Ooh. Should be able to corner carry. Oh, it doesn't get to, to be the hit. Oh, but it's okay, you gotta reset. Yeah, eating some damage. One more mix, we'll close it out. Ganondorf has to block this, and it is gonna be a really tough setup to block. Yep, there it is. Whoa, I got hit, and I, so did he. I did not see <laughs> what... Someone tell me what that mix-up was supposed to be, please. I have no idea, but I definitely got hit whatever it was. Hey, all right, guard cancel, putting uh, Ghost Blade into the corner. Oh my god. Wow, that was so risky, DP. <laughs> he really thought, like, oh, he's, he's just gonna swing right away, and then... And that turned out to be his downfall so far. Yeah, maybe some uh, some signs of uh, nervousness here from Ganondorf. But uh, he's playing so well, you know? He still has uh, two more matches to go here. Oh, all right. Get off me, DP. Back into the corner. Good conversion to stay safe. Oh, flinch a little bit too early. Gets hit with auto combo. Back to the corner with the ghost once again. All right. Not in Awakening just yet, but has a lot of meter. Oh, there's a throw for Good the guard break at Oh, Nice again, the jump back JA. Ooh, all right, conversion. Stay yeah. safe. Oh, God. Good roll on that missile. Every time that missile's come out recently, uh, Yosin Cha has just been rolling right through. Mm. All right, you got you to be careful. Don't want to eat a random missile. And there's a lot of patience going on the stream right now, even though he's at low HP. Grenade's going to go off. Yeah, stalling, but unfortunately not stalling enough. Gets hit by the grenade. Ooh. And Ganondorf, one round away from taking it over Yosin Cha. All right, immediate uh, round start. Jump A once again to keep him in place. Oh. All right, avoid the grenade. Oh, but the DP hits. Yeah, excellent DP. Conversion, stay safe, get some pressure started. Grenade jump. The grenade doing so much work right now. Gets right. a lot of damage off this. Whew. Gonna get another setup with the grenade and the missile, most likely. Oh, oh. no, missed input. Uh, it's okay, we're holding, you using the guard button until we decide to jump and get clipped off the air. And that's a lot of life gone. Yeah, it's so unfortunate, but you also dropping it, actually. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> it, it'll work eventually. Just, just keep lifting the setup. Ugh. All right, last chance incoming. All right, yeah, very good block. Oh, there's a throw, throw though, yeah. <laughs> Sign it up 1 1 here. And you can see him just breathing a sigh of relief. I'm like, man, that was close. He's that like, was good. I almost lost that. <laughs> yeah, breathe deep, breathe strong. Taking time to stay composed, getting rid of the nervousness. Yeah, it's something a lot of people don't do. Like, even if you win, it can still be considered a good idea to just, like, hover the retry screen so that way you're like, all right, I, I messed up a little bit, but I still won, so I just got to check that off real quick. Yeah, I mean, it is a gauntlet, right? Like, even if you win, if you feel like you didn't play your best, take some time to breathe, right? Mm -hmm. You have that right as a player. 
And uh, using all that calmness to just go ham and hit with the overhead. Yeah, it looked like uh, Ganondorf tried to anti-air but didn't make it in time earlier, so just hit yeah. a bunch of HP. It happens Ooh. sometimes. No punish there. Oh my that god! That was so sick! The instant call over the 2A to get a full confirm into the corner. Yeah, amazing wall crush there. Imagine losing half your life for trying to do 2A in neutral. Couldn't be me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. All right, one round away from Yosun trying to advance on to lose the semi. But, you know, Ganondorf didn't come all the way out here to lose. Like no, this. He came out here to win. Mm. Yeah, guard cancel. Excellent. In the corner again. Standard launcher pressure, but so effective. Oh, too early on the throw oh, attempt. So unfortunate. But nice block. If Ganondorf, if Ganondorf can stay composed in this situation, he will be okay. But look at all that gray life. If he gets hit here, it's, it's not going to oh, be... Oh, his guard bar's about to break. Yeah. Oh, excellent DP. <laughs> all right, still low on the guard meter, but gets to play the game. Conversion. Whoa, conversions for the mana. Yes. Wants to play that neutral. Or be able to guard cancel whenever the grenade. Oh, the grenade! To... Oh my god. That's so annoying. Like, hitting her doesn't make it explode sooner. Oh, ow! The grenade! <laughs> oh, it didn't combo though. All right, hit the missile back up. Oh, we're out. Excellent block into the overhead. Oh. This it will kill. And Yosung Chao over Ganondorf. <laughs> he, he's, he's, like, he's like, don't forget about me. Don't forget. I will never forget about you, Yosung Chao. You're godless. We will fight together, but I fight for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a godlike tagline. <laughs> I need, where can I get that hoodie? Can I get that hoodie somewhere? I, okay, I actually legit really need that hoodie. Like, yeah, I know, you just you just walk around and people are just like, what does that mean? And you're like, can't Bro, you Bro, I, I, I'm fight for me. Yeah. I'm fight for me, <laughs> what do you mean? It, it's, it's great too, because it's like, you know someone probably translated for him and they were like, hey, do you want it to say this or this? And he was like, no, I want this. Yeah, exactly. I want it to be wrong on purpose. So it becomes right. Yeah. Yeah. Because then you have to ask him, and then he, he just tells you. And he probably says the same thing again. You're like, uh, uh, okay, sure. You got it. You're the best. Yeah. So, uh, you know, in, in terms of can you shoot the ghost, I think the answer is a decided no. You, no, cannot, okay. you cannot shoot a ghost. You should not shoot the ghost. You should not shoot the ghost. <laughs> the ghost will win every time. Because so. you saw Ganondorf try to 2A, and then he kind of just did a short jump call and just went over and just obliterated him. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh you know, Hyosun Chao moving on, uh, but we got up next a uh, uh, Blue Linkies versus Tales of Mystery. So Swiftmaster versus Crusader. Yes, Ugh. another matchup that Linkies absolutely hates. <laughs> I mean, you, you gotta get over that at some point, right? Like you, you can hate the matchup, you just need to know how to play it. I mean, he does though. Like uh, he, I believe he beat Masoma to get here. Yes, he did. Yeah, yeah. so he he clearly knows the matchup. He is fresh on this, and Masoma. You know, one of the best Crusaders in the world, mm. honestly. Uh, but Tales of Mr. E, you know, uh, such a good competitor in his own right. And every Crusader plays slightly differently, right? Yes, like that's some, true, yeah. Some Crusaders like to do jump back spears. Some Crusaders like to just go ham. And, you know, they see their opponent as a nail, and they just throw the hammer over and over <laughs> and over and over again and say, this is the biggest button in the game, and I will press it. I promise you. Because the threat of, like, getting clipped by it is so high, you're just like, I kind of don't want to take a risk and lose half my life on a simple confirm. And, like, a lot of the times you get clipped by it on accident. Yeah. You know, it's like, oh, I'm going to throw 5A here. And then Crusader is, like, on the other corner of the screen, like, full screen away, <laughs> just getting, <laughs> just smoking it with 5B into a full combo. And you're like, oh, yes, I, I messed up by trying to uh, haphazardly press a button. Yo, I, I try to defy the word of God. It happens, bro. It happens. <laughs> Sometimes God can be cruel. Sometimes God can be cruel. All right. Both of them getting set up here, making sure that they're ready ready to go. Getting rid of some uh, external pads. There we go. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Blue Link, he's a very strong Swift Master. Saw him earlier uh, in Winter Side. Got knocked into losers. And, uh, you know, he's ready for revenge. Mm. He's ready. But I know uh, Tales of Mr. E is... He came all the way out here for a reason. He wasn't out here to, like... You know, he's out here to have fun, obviously, but yes. he wants to qualify. He, he's he been putting in the work. He's been playing this character since day one. Yeah. He's believed in the character, and he's been rewarded with all the buffs. Yeah, he uh, he also had a really interesting path to get here. He uh, he beat another, like, weirdly, the character we don't see much at all, which is Riazzo, uh, who plays Enchantress. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so that, that was his uh, match to qualify, and Riazzo has been killing it this weekend. Shoutouts to Riazzo, but... Mm. Uh, you know, it just shows that Tales of Mystery knows how to play Crusader, <laughs> and it's to, uh, you know, just slam the hammer. 
That's all he does, slam the hammer. I, I mean, it's effective. Like, it's it's one of those tools where a lot of people in the very beginning, they were just like, how, do I, how am I supposed to fight this? What do, you, what do you mean I have to, like, either give up the space or have a clean anti-air? Yeah. Yeah, and a lot of players started to figure out Crusader, but, you know, with the new buffs, he's just he's just really, really good. <laughs> I mean, uh, sometimes you get lucky, you're rewarded for your, for your loyalty, and you're like, yes, I, I got what I needed for this character to be super competitive. They got what I, like, you don't want, like, top tier buffs, you just want working character buffs. Right, right, but Crusader got kind of the top tier yeah, buffs. Yeah, he, got, he got the top tier buffs. Yeah he, yeah, he did. Yep. They were probably like, man, we messed up. Let's, let's help him out a little bit, and then... It turns out like a little bit was a lot. Everyone thought he was a boss character. Let's make him a boss, boss character, character real quick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, getting into it here. Tells Mystery the Crusader oh moving into the Swift Master and immediately starting. Wait, that's half his life. Yeah. Oh, drops the orb. That's okay. DP's out. Oh, trying to go for an instant overhead. Doesn't get it. Oh, instant wow. challenge. Yeah, just pulling him closer so we can smoke him even more. <laughs> oh my god. Well. Yeah, this is going to be a lot of damage. Whiffs the ender, but that's okay. The belt's on. Getting some free pressure here. Orb is pulling him closer. And again, just fishing for hits, but Tails of Mr. E just confident in blocking it out. <laughs> and just putting out 5A there to contest any time Blue Linky starts to dash forward. Yeah, you know, Swiftmaster has a great 5A, but Crusaders, oh my gosh. It's just huge. Uh -huh. All right, excellent throw. Ooh. Yeah, charging uh, that uh, C normal all the way to the orb, getting rid of it, expelling it from the screen. Right, Tornado B plus. Oh my nice god! Nice catch. Good chunk of damage here, and but more importantly, the pressure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Crusader, a huge health character, gonna have to do that. Honestly, like three more times to win here. <laughs> and then the crowd getting into it every time the Buster hits. Ooh, all right, good patience. Yeah, good. Goes low. Tells the mystery, not biting. Ooh, that hurts so bad. I, I wonder what uh, Tales of Mr. E was trying to do there because it looked like he got clipped right as it was about to come out. It was the uh, the charge shield. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget what, what the button input is, but it was the charge shield. So it doesn't work out. One more mix up here. We'll do it. Has to worry about throw, but uh, honestly, I think if you're Mr. E, you're just like, all right, I can probably eat this throw. Yep, fits in. Oh, no. Oh, no, this is how it starts. He's in Awakening, he has all his buffs, and, oh my god. All right, put on the shield, do the a chip. The hammer's going down. Oh, he's gonna have to get rid of that pretty soon. Yep, there it is. I will not be punished tonight. Oh, oh my god. All right. Nice, oh. DP. Just throws it out there and Miss Tales of Mystery bites. All right, let's see how this next round goes. So I feel like Tails Mr. E was like maybe one read away from just uh, securing that this first game. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> very volatile match here. All right, using the conversion to stay in, gets a six S after. Oh no! Oh no! Maybe an input error, bad DP, and gonna eat a decent amount of damage from this. We're gonna see a side switch here. Very, 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 very optimal from Blue Linkies. OTG once again. A, A, A. Except the orb. Safe jump, trying to block any reversals. No uh, guard cancel for There it is. I was waiting when he was going to use it because he has almost full meter. Aye. Nice. Good jump back spear. Belt's on. Yeah, the spear will get rid of it, but very awkward there, actually. Mm -hmm. Like He just kind of tumbled there, but Mr. E will take that because now he gets to finish his, up his own turn. Yeah, and luckily he tells Mr. E not an awakening or he would die here, but <laughs> still getting a bunch of damage. Ooh. Ooh. Try to go for a weird little reset there. The yeah, using that oppressive too well into the conversion. Uh, yeah, Ed, you're dead. And is an awakening too because of the conversion. Very smart. Should be able to clean this up real easy. OTG. Yes. The awakening super. So, so good from Tails of Miss, uh, from uh, Blue Linkies, excuse me, and slapping his leg. Just, just happy about it, you know? I mean, he's pumped. He's probably like, yes, I get to fight this character I hate so much. He, I mean, he is happy to be Crusader. <laughs> he, again, he does not like this matchup at all. <laughs> he's like, I beat a Crusader? That's right. That's I'm, right, I do that. I'm nice. Yeah, and Tales of Mystery getting composed, taking deep breaths. I mean, to be fair, like, it, it wasn't like that match was a wash for him or anything like that. He just, uh, there was like one or two interactions where he just guessed wrong. And sometimes that's all you, that's all that needs to happen to you where you were a little bit slow in the button you were trying to press. You yeah. were just like, all right, I hesitated too much, or I'm respecting this offense too much. I know what I need to do. Yeah, I mean, 
sometimes just taking a breather will help, right? Like, mm. you just need to reconfigure. It's fine tuning. It's fine yeah. tuning. Just changing five frames either way, you know, can make the difference in a match. But, oh, DP, interesting. Mm. All right, so Tails Mr. E's back in the same corner that we've seen before. Yeah, Blue Linky's just using all that momentum for the first win to, to just, just smoke Tails Mr. E. Oh, all right, same jump again. Oh, and the slight delay there gets the 2A pickup after. All right, so Tails Mr. E's not going to die off of this, but he's going to be in the same position once again. Yeah, crowd getting hype here for these loops. That's right, we are hype for Swift Master. I agree, it's, it's, it's I agree. Weird. Jump up conversion, tries to uh, catch Blue Linky's, throwing something out. Blue Linky's just content to wait. Yeah, he's not in any sort of rush. Oh boy. Oh, oh so good. So hard to see. Puts on the belt, dashes up, and gets an instant overhead with the conversion. And now Blue Linky's is one round away from the advancing on to the losing semis. Yeah, Blue Linky's uh, sensing some hesitation from Tails Mystery, just taking advantage of it, right, to put up that belt. And uh, this round, though, Blue Tales of Mr. E <laughs> not hesitating at all to take half your life bar. What a character. Oh, good roll. Good roll. roll punish with the throw as well to get rid of the barrier. Oh, he didn't get the spear to come out, but he gets the counter hit 2A confirmed. Oh, my God. I don't even know what to say, bro. I don't <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, it's, it's weird because, like, Every time Crusader hits you, like the whole screen shakes, and you're like, "Man, this this looks brutal." He, it speaks for itself. The game is like, "This is gonna hurt <laughs> and kill you." <laughs> oh man! All right, so Blue Link is, has a little bit of great life to convert. Yep, takes their turn back in. Reverse yeah. throw. Very nice uh, oh. second to the throw, but Tails of Mystery answering back, getting a bunch of damage. Oh, nice conversion you used there to get a little bit more meter so to keep this combo going. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. Uh, don't go cancel. Don't press the button. Don't, uh, oh, goes for the throw, but that amazing jump up, J.A. Oh, drops it, but that's okay. That's yeah. actually uh, maybe optimal? Question mark? Yeah, because the, uh, the exhaustion was going to happen after the, after the buff ran off. Yeah. Right. Yeah, eating a lot of damage. Going to have to corner pressure. This mix up, if, if Blue Link is Lanthus mix up, the match is over. Because he does have super. Oh no! oh, no! There it is! Oh, he tried to throw, and that should be the end of the match. A little bit more damage is needed. I'm not saying anything. I'm cursed this tonight. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. It's fine. He's, he's not going to mess us up. Yeah, right, he's, right? Yeah, he's fine, right? There we go. Yeah. Thank you. Blue Linkies. Crowd going wild. Supporting the homie yeah. over Tales of Mr. E to continue on in loser's bracket. Amazing, amazing Swift Master play. Uh, that was really hard, uh, hard fought from Blue Linkies because, like, now that Swift Master is considered to be, a, like, a low damage character, yeah. It is a lot harder for you to fight a lot of the higher health characters in the, in the yes. cast, where your damage and their health starts to catch up, and it's like, oh, I need maybe one or two more combos where they need only one really good combo to kill me. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> the whole match was like that, right? Like, every time Blue Link, he started something, and, you know, chances are Swift Master is going to get more hits than Crusader yeah. in general, just because he can move more. Right. But the second he got clipped, just half his life bar just gone, <laughs> right? <lead. laughs> Imagine playing a game where in two hits, you just explode, right? It's like chips and oaf. It's, it's the same thing as like in Guilty Gear. Like, well, to be fair, it's Strive. Uh, uh, good point, good point. <laughs> I, I will not say nothing about Strive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we should be moving on to, uh, I believe, Winner's Finals soon. Yes. And that would be a three out of five set. Yep. I believe there's going to, I, I, are we taking a break or are we just waiting for the competitors to get ready? I believe we're just waiting for the competitors. We got uh, Kubo and Tenured Mule. <laughs> Looks like they might be walking up now. Yes, yeah, they yeah. are. Here they are. Okay, so it's going to be uh, Hitman versus uh, Grappler. Yes. I, I'm interested to see what Kubo does in this matchup because I know a lot of people are like, how does Grappler get in? Because, you know, his run speed is so terrible and his jump is so awful. And then he kind of just hits you with armor or plus frames out of nowhere. And you're like, oh, I, I guess I have to block Grappler. Oh, wait, I got grabbed. Oh, wait, oh. I'm dead. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's what it feels like every time an interaction happens and you're just like, oh, why did I die? Oh, Fighting grappler, what happened? If there's anyone I trust to solve an unsolvable like situation mm -hmm. of like how do I get on on Hitman, it's Kubo. The Kubo, yeah, it's yeah, Kubo. Yeah. It's Kubo. <laughs> He's been playing K 
characters like this and games like this for many, many years. Yes. <laughs> yeah, his his fundamentals and his ability to maneuver is just so strong, right? Like, mm -hmm. he not only does he have, like, and he also has the sense fear factor, right? Like, oh, yeah. He knows so when you're scared. But, so strong. But Tenured Mule, I had, I don't think I've seen, like, a single emotion behind, besides, like, yeah, I'm actually kind of nice, though. <laughs> like, that's the only emotion I've seen him do all weekend. So I don't know if he's going to get, like, frustrated or nervous or anxious at this match. He's just here to do the job he was hired for. He is the hitman. Mm -hmm. that, that's kind of, this bar is actually, that's very yeah. nice. That's very good. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> but, you know, Scuba or Grappler, I don't, I don't think so. I think, I think it's just Tenor Mule's the hitman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he has the mind, like, I'm not going to say he has the mindset, like, of a Grappler player, but he has, like, the, uh, he has what he has the the knowledge needed to be like. All right, I know a lot of your tendencies are. You want to swing here. You're really defensive here, and he preys off of that pretty quickly. And he's also willing to play a lot slower than most people expect because yes. it's like, oh, the grapple player is just gonna try to run at me right away. But this a lot of times you will see him just like wait. Yeah, yeah, and the only thing that's difficult about that in this matchup uh, particularly, right, is that Hitman has access to the J overhead. Yes, he has the ability to run up. And not only threaten strike throw or like you know just block string pressure, but at any time when he's in, like not pressing a button, he can just jump JA and hit you. Yep. Um, so you can't block forever against Hitman. I mean, technically you can. I mean, until your guard bar runs out, then you can't block forever. Right. But I mean, like you can't guess right every time, right? Like Kubo's a god, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what how he does. What if he just guessed right every time, though? Then I then he's just way better than me. That's why he's here. <laughs> Getting some small chip in. Trying to see how Kubo reacts. Oh my. All right, well. It just be like that sometimes, you know? <laughs> Somehow. Like, like, how did he just do that? He just like ran forward. It's like, oh, I will. Here, I will simply. Oh my god, grabs the DP. I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> yeah, you can, but it's like. Yo, calm down. Dude. Like, you're. <laughs> You're scaring the gamers. <laughs> I'm, I'm terrified here on the commentator's desk. That was actually amazing reactions. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's, a, there's a J, but uh, not able to convert. Going to eat a lot of damage here. All right, safe jump. No. Good throw. Knew it wasn't a real safe jump. Ah, oh, nice. Again. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Kubo tested him one more time. <laughs> Tenyon Mir going, no, I'm not biting this time. I know something weird's coming. Hey, 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 all right, good 5A after. Yeah, very good spacing. Uh-oh. Ooh, Ooh, nice 2A. I like that sequence a lot. Uh, and uh, he might die from this. Uh-oh. No. That might have been a reset. Maybe, honestly. it might have been. All right, pretty clean play from uh, from Tenure Mule. Not being affected by the first round at all. No, Tenure Mule's not affected by anything. He's the hitman. <laughs> Oh. Stay calm, stay collected. Amazing, just the tip of that blade after that charge whip. Oh! Wow, he grabbed the bullet. <laughs> uh, I didn't know you could do that. I didn't know you could grab bullets. All right, our grapple go off. Ooh. Nice, yeah, counter hit, hitting all that armor. Oh. Nice. Taking your turn again, instant, instant overhand after the conversion. Corner carry. Oh. oh my god, it just, you know what, I'm just gonna jump on Wake Up and <laughs> almost kill you for this. It's funny, because, no like, like Tenny Mule didn't actually, like, meet him correctly. It looked like he was kind of scared of the next Wake Up. Like, he didn't get completely close to him. Oh my god. Oh, he blocked it, and then he got hit after as well. Yeah, it'd be that way sometimes. And Tenured Mule, Hitman, Awakened. He's alive, uh -oh. he's swinging, uh -oh. and Kubo is dead in this first match. No, uh -oh. no, it's knew it wouldn't kill. He knows better than me. But uh, unfortunately, that gives Kubo a second life. It does, yes. Oh, oh no! <laughs> How does he know to hold up board like that? He's a god. Kubo's a god. I've, I've not seen someone who's so adept at holding up forward in situations like that where like, I have one HP, yeah, I, you know, I'm just gonna jump. It's fine, what, you know, he's not gonna press a button. He knows, <laughs> he knows, he sees the future. Yeah. Uh, uh, does the slam, converting to stay safe, but unfortunately just gets clipped. Uh-oh. Yeah. JA over, J overhead into the throw. Tenor Mule now backing up. Ooh. All right, 5A contest the uh, tackle attempt. Yeah, gonna get some good damage in and a setup. Oh! Oh, amazing spacing again by Tenor Mule. I feel like Tenor Mule has been playing the mid-range so well. It's actually in the corner where he tends to explode, but not this time with the JA. All right, so uh, that's a pretty clean round. It, it's a perfect, and honestly, it, that might be the spacing he needs to fight Kubo, where he can uh, anticipate either a jump or a tackle with 5A at max range. 
And again, the same situation one more time. Tendy Mule is so good at staying just out of range of his specials. And no matter if he converts, it doesn't matter. He's still punishing. <laughs> Gets the counter hit on the 2A attempt after the... Oh, rolls out the corner. Tendy Mule doing the same. Oh my... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that looked like he was just mashing the mash, but it was actually to anti-air. Tendy Mule is so good, bro. Uh-oh. Oh no! No, oh, no! This is how it starts. It's not gonna kill, but gonna be so much damage. And you have to, can you have to guess with Grappler on top of you? Yeah, like, one more hit here should actually kill. All right. Grappler's so scary in Awakening. All Help. these charges doing it again into the throw. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. It's funny too, because you're just like, oh, I have enough guard bar to live through this. He's not gonna. Oh wait, I got, I got command grab. Because <laughs> you're so terrified of pressing a button and getting it armored. But then it turns into, what if he does conversion at the last second, the tackle doesn't hit me and he command grabs me? I mean, that's the fear, right? Like, getting it put into that situation is already so scary. And I feel like Kubo with that jump kick just <laughs> honestly has been what has been winning in these rounds. All but right. Tendered Mule not shaken. Safe no. Hey, That was max range too. He wanted to be safe away from DP attempt. Yep, and gets the full uh, combo. Ooh, nice right. reset here. He's gonna be taking some free damage. Using that new corner extension. Again with the reset. Oh no. But Kubo just rolling out. Oh no! Oh, such a good grab. All right, back in the corner you go. Safe jump. Oh, the throw again, but Woo. this time Kubo not in Awakening, just outside of range. So gonna have to do uh, another mix here. Maybe two, potentially. Up again. Oh. <laughs> He's tall enough to get grabbed by that. So you actually would have to crouch, but the mix-up there is getting hit by a jump-in. Oh, he's in Awakening. It's yeah, fine. the guard can't cause him to get into Awakening. But Tendering Mule just playing at this range. Oh but again? God. Oh, no! You're, and that's what we were talking about. Like, you're so scared of pressing the button, you're worried about the tackle happening. But then, if you don't commit and you're like, I'm going to throw a button out, you just get, you get grappled. Command grabs are so cheap. I mean, <laughs> yeah, especially if they're like one frame, you can't put a button into them, you can't grab them. I mean, you have to jump, and jumping is scary. Yeah, grabs are cheap. Grabs are cheap. <laughs> especially ones you can't break. It's, it's funny, too, because Tenure Mill has been playing really well. He's at, He was at that range where he was trying to 5A to anti-air and contest tackle constantly. Oh, my. Oh, my God. And the conversion, too, for the extra damage. Yeah, I feel like Tendon Mule just giving Kubo one chance, and that's all he needs. Because look at all this damage off that one hit. All right, plus frame. Oh, oh tries to jump or mash and gets clipped by 5A. All right, he doesn't die off this, but he gets one more chance. Yeah, he has another chance here. Oh, no. Good DP. Good DP in Awakening. All right. He, gets, he has to get one more mix-up after this. Oh, uh-oh. Yeah, that J working out so oh. often. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, oh right. no, okay, drops it, drops it, drops it. Nice conversion, tries to bait something. Uh, uh, oh! That's the trade you don't want there in that situation. Oh my god, and Kubo is one round away from going to the grand final. This man is holding up forward better than anyone I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he poses for the fans, saying, you know what, hit me, do it. Very good bait by Tenure Mule with the uh, conversion on the way up. Trying to slip, oh, okay, all right, <laughs> grabs sure. The, yeah, grabs the sword. Again, the strike down mix. Oh. All right. Mule, Tenure Mule has no meter. Oh, Amazing backdash. Really good awareness, but this time doesn't work out. Oh, he waited for the 5S, but he got grabbed instead. All right. Gonna get a little bit more damage in. Go for the fake. Oh. Yeah, tries to uh, do a grab on, uh, on Tenure Mule's wake up. Doesn't bite. Uh -oh. Oh. Nice, 2A. Yeah. All right. Tenure and Mule answering back, staying alive. They jump again, instant overhead gets blocked, rolled out of the corner. Oh, oh no, don't do it. Yes, good DP. Oh, good so DP does not want to deal with that mix up anymore. Saying, I am not out of this yet. Kubo, you do not get to go into grand finals without me putting up a fight. Oh, <laughs> I, I, oh he jumps early. He got punished. He's going to have to hold this setup here. Oh boy, safe jump. Oh, he actually landed inside the block. Yeah, really nice 2A. Oh, all right, we're in once again. No meter though. Plus range. Oh, oh. Yeah, nice DP. Getting some extra damage there too from that super armor. All right, using the conversion to get a little bit more damage in. And honestly, uh, Tender Mule's in a pretty decent spot right now. 
Yeah, starting this pressure, but I feel like this is actually where Tender Bill tends to crumble, right? Because if Kubo just gets one good jump, one good button, uh, the momentum is back in his favor. He has to play perfectly, and he does! Catches the roll! Saying, Kubo, you've been rolling for free for too long! But he's not dead, though. I think he's dead. Yeah. Oh, no, he's not! You're right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh-oh. Oh, oh so scary again! He oh, died. no! You're dead! He, he waited through three of those and said, I'll bite on the last one, and Kubo was like, guess what? I did it again. Imagine doing something four times in a row and having it work on the fourth time. <laughs> That's Kubo. He has the mental fortitude to say, I will do this four times in a row, and guess what? I'm going to win. That's right. On the fourth time, it will work. And yeah, gives a thumbs up to the camera. Kubo moving into grand finals. <laughs> and now everyone's going to have to slug it out in losers. Oh, that's not going to be fun. It's going to be fun for us. <laughs> oh, I mean, they're, they're going to be like, all right, we're going to fight through all the way through, and then like someone has to fight Kubo, and it's like, man, we got to fight Kubo. What, what's going on here? Yeah, grappler in grand finals, huh? I know a lot of people are not expecting that. They're like, oh, it's going to be Konoichi, it's going to be Hitman, it's going to be Striker. No, it's a grand, uh, Grappler and Grand Finals first. Yeah, crazy, crazy turn of events. And uh, he is hungry for that qualifying spot. Yeah, especially because, like, he was denied, all, uh, I think it was in December. I think it was in December when they had a qualifier out there. I forgot, I forgot who won it. Was it? Was it the... I honestly don't remember. I'm, I'm trying to piece things together after watching that uh, winner's finals. I'm not going to lie to you. Hon honestly, my brain is still a little scrambled. <laughs> my, my brain is still a little scrambled. Yeah, after seeing Tackle four times, I'd be like, you're not going to do it. Oh, you did it. Oh, yeah, I'm you did it. You know. Uh, right, I'm sorry. I apologize. As a grappler player, I feel like Kubo has evolved beyond like grappler mindset. Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't keep up with the decision making. <laughs> I, never in my life would I expect four tackles in a row to close out the round. Because in his head, he's just like, I only need the one. That's right. All you need is one. And he, he got it, so. Yeah. But coming up next, we got Blue Linky, who has been fighting through losers right now, versus Yosung Cha, uh, who also has been fighting through uh, losers. Actually had a fight in losers a little bit before top eight, so has been playing really well, recovered from his match where he lost, and uh, he's gonna take on Swiftmaster as Ghostblade. So I feel like, uh, honestly, Ghostblade being probably one of the better characters, obviously yeah. one of the better characters in the game, because he has really good reach, his damage is fairly high on average, super strong corner carry, really scary mix-up. So you're just like, yeah, he should be able to beat Swiftmaster, right? But Swiftmaster does have the slight advantage in speed, being able to close the gap really quickly. Yeah. Because uh, I think Ghostblade's fastest button is seven frames? Is two I believe so. I believe so. That sounds right. Yeah. So if uh, Swiftmaster can get in the space where he can do like, you know, uh, a good space 5B, probably clip that, get his game started. Yeah. But you, you have to get past the, uh, probably the best ghost blade in the world. Oh, honestly, the best ghost blade in the world. I'm willing to say it. I'm willing to say it. Yosung Cha's ghost blade is, is ridiculous. You know, ghost blade, a character who generally people did not think was very good. I believe he qualified before the buffs yes, also. He, yes, yeah, he so did, yeah. he was winning when ghost blade was, and I put this in gigantic it, quotes. It, it, Bad to mediocre. I think Ghostblade's always been good. Which but. is wild because, like, you have to think about other characters. Like, everyone's like, oh, Swiftmaster's number one. Then it becomes, like, Hitman. Uh, then you have uh, Striker. You have Ranger. Yes. And then no one's really considering Ghostblade because it's like, oh, you can just kind of, like, roll his mix up. You can guard cancel when it's like, what do you do when he's just pestering you from half screen and you guess wrong on one of the uh, summon mix ups? Yeah. No, it, his mid screen presence has always been, honestly, the best in the game, mm -hmm. right? Like, that's where he excels. That's where he wants to be. And uh, Hyosun Cha, just an amazing player. Like, when he won, I, I couldn't believe it. Like, a Ghostblade <laughs> won, and everyone's like, oh, clearly it's going to be, like, all these Swiftmasters, all these Hitmen. Nope. No, he is here, and he is hungry, hungry to win two qualifiers, potentially. I mean, it's, it's good money, because yeah. it's, it's for a qualifier. But then it's like, hey, guys, uh, I hope you're ready to go to uh, finals and uh, play me. Because, yep. like, I, I'm not. He's not going to hold anything back. He's probably got some tricks that he's not showing. Yeah. Where when finals happen, people are just going to be like, oh, I didn't know Ghostblade could do that. Yeah, and I believe he's looking for a, a duplicate of what uh, Mystic Smash, I believe, oh, also yeah. won two qualifiers. qualifiers yeah. So he is hungry to have the, the same cred as Mystic Smash here. <laughs> uh, he's already blocking, though, and down to less than half his guard bar. Yeah, very patient, willing to just block this out. But oh, no, this could guard break here already. Yeah, your guard broken. No? Uh, he was trying to, uh, Blue Linkies was trying to bait the guard. Break lost their turn after trying to contest, gets hit by 2A. Uh, it's ghost play time, though. Whew. God, 
so much damage. All right, time to guess. No guard cancel, no roll. Yes. Oh, good luck. Good luck. I mean, you're, you're probably expecting the throw and you're expecting the delayed overhead, and uh, you're not dead, right? I don't believe so, no. Oh, oh never mind, never mind. Oh, he got the meter. He's so good. Look oh. at that turnaround. Blue Linky's almost guard broke. Guard broken Yosung Chop, which is gonna take half the life because you get a premium starter. Right. And then all of a sudden, like, actually, you're the one that's dead. Sorry. Because right. he, he was trying to bait uh, the guard cancel, and then Yosung Chop was like, what if I just roll past you and then you lost your turn? Yeah, very aware that uh, Blue Linkies would do that too, not pressing buttons to try to get out of that situation. Just saying, I accept my fate, whatever happens. And the fate said, I win that round. But maybe not this one, because it is starting off with Blue Linkies doing the loopy loops. All right. One set up. Safe count. Locking out pressure, and you can see how Young Sun Chao's not so eager to immediately try to take his turn back right away. Yeah, and that orb actually pulling Ghostblade away from Swiftmaster. So <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, pulling him away so the throw whiffs. Oh god. All right, already down to less than half guard meter. Waiting for the mana to regen. Yeah, oh. and again, the orb actually causing so many problems for Ghostblade. I did not know about that interaction. Oh, uh, the guard break, there it nice, is. Nice, but not able to convert. Oh, no. Gets hit by 2A. Back in the corner you go. And he has his buffs on because of an awakening. A, A. All right, on the block. Yeah, good DP. Does not want any of that. All right, so there's no meter. Time to keep blocking. Yeah, Ooh. puts that orb out, which has caused Ghost Blade. So many Aye. problems, and then the women to throw. Yeah. Very clean, very nice. <clears throat> But now we're gonna see how all the adjustments come through because, oh my god, he's so aggressive. Yeah, nice DP, good answer here. Oh! Nice, JA, but not able to get the conversion. That's all right, you still have the pressure, still have the corner. Gonna start cranking this guard bar. Oh, you flick, try to jab him out of the air, but you got hit instead. Yeah, tries to react, but unfortunately just a little too late and eating half his life for that decision. Oop. All right, 2B doesn't connect. It's all right, we get a forward throw. Two way to keep him in the corner. Yeah, Blue Link is forced to block here. Oh, but contest right after with 2A gets their turn back. Yep, go to Barre. He's got a side. Oh. oh, unfortunately, he did not want that for sure. Right, like, hopefully, that doesn't come back to bite him, but he's keeping up good pressure. Yep, puts the orb out. Justin <laughs> Cha just consent, just saying, you know what? Fine, I'll wait till it's over. Ooh. Didn't get a full confirm off that jump in. Nice but one there. conversion from the tornado. That is not as free as that looked, I swear. I think. Okay. I think he's dead. No, uh -oh. okay. Uh-oh. Oh. Nice. All right, so game one, the Blue Linkies playing really well after the first round mishap that happened. I know a lot of people are just like, how, how are you supposed to, how is oh, Swiftmaster supposed to win anything anymore? He got, he got, they're pretty heavily, but uh, the, even if your character is nerfed, you can still be loyal, figure out a new game plan, figure out uh, strats to make sure that your opponents are not aware of new um, strategies you have. Yes, yeah, I mean, we saw how a lot of those interactions wasn't based on Swift Master's like, old strengths, right? They're based on things that uh, has been consistent, which is really smart word placement to mess with Yosun Cha's ghost movement and also his teleports, right? Like, it shuts down so much of his neutral options and it forces him to block. Ooh, goes for reset. Small conversion with the roll placement again. Oh, this yeah. is a rafter. Good throw, solid pressure. Justin Cha waiting for his moment to throw the 5A. Oh. <laughs> yeah, again, see the orb is messing with his ghost blade so much. It's so effective. Look at this. Oh my he God. can't jump, he can't do neutral, he can't convert. He just has to hold this in the corner. Crowd going wild for these loops. All right, gets another set up. Nice, oh. bait on the guard cancel. That's kind of weird too, especially considering that he didn't, uh, he never guard canceled in that type of interval when he had that much meter left. Yeah, really good awareness from uh, Blue Linkies. All right, gets a full screen buster to hit. Big damage coming out. And already down to half life. All right, gonna set up, oh, doesn't have time to set up an orb. No throw attempt either. Oh, oh such a good roll. All right, roll 2A, doesn't have to deal with an orb this time. Yeah, those tornadoes have a lot of uh, plus frames, but you definitely have to take a risk. And uh, Yosin Chad recognized that Blue Linkies was going for it. Oh my god. I, I want to know what Blue Linkies tried to do there, especially when he saw that Young Shun Chad was like pretty much half screen away. Oh my god, he's almost dead. He All said, right. you know what? I'm going to take that hit, so I enter Awakening. And yeah, Keegan's DP is conversion. 
that, uh, that's honestly that's such a good buff to have. It is a huge buff. He's the, I believe he's the only character that can do that. Yes. yes. Oh. <laughs> nice card cancel. Oh! Bades the DP, blocks it. That was uh well well timed. He had the he had the read on either a guard cancel or a DP. Yeah. And uh, got the best of it, but right now, round start getting hit by Buster. Yeah, Buster uh, definitely is Swiftmaster's premium starter here, Ooh. so taking a lot of damage. That is doing so much. Yeah, this hurts so bad. I guess a throw in awakening though, but one one big hit from Blue Linkies will fill the round. Uh oh. Again, yeah, the conversion. This time doesn't go for throw. No, it won't work. Just goes for the 5A pressure. <laughs> so scary. Yeah, putting up the tornado, continuing the pressure. There's a tornado again. Yeah, oh! again, flying away to the other side of the screen. Uh oh. No tornado to save you this time. Excellent block. Waiting for the DP, waiting for the guard cancel. Blue oh. Linkies not biting, but because he blocked all that mix, all that gray life is coming into effect. All right, get one more chance because Young Sun Ka is in awakening. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god! <laughs> How did he not get hit on those white down? He's so good! He's kind of nasty though. Yu Song Cha. Uh, one might say that he is cooking right now. He is 100% cooking. <laughs> he's, got, he's the chef and the ghost is the sous chef. He's 100% cooking. Blue Linkies is like, who let him cook? <laughs> he's like, I let me cook. All right. And already the orb coming into play. So right now it's up to you to try to figure out, all right, how do I approach without using too much of my gold? Whoa, what was that? That was a good conversion to try to, to, try to stay safe during the, uh, the uh, belt special coming out. Ooh. Yeah, nice combo there. Very optimal. All right, being patient. Uh, oh, just Yeah, conversion just wants the awakening. The awakening right? Yep. Okay. On the wake up, time to play. Ooh. All right, about to get guard broke. Oh my! Oh, I didn't combo because the ghost was pulled too far ahead. No DP again. Yeah, in this situation again, Blue Linky is just getting hit. He's oh. had so much trouble dealing with that exact same situation. Has to find the answer here. He tried to jump and he still lives. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, he's almost guard broken though. But he takes his turn back with the conversion to get some more mana. Yeah, gets the mana, gets the awakening. Uh -oh. oh, nice overhead. All right, please don't drop this. Very nice, very good. Oh my god. <laughs> so now it's up to Blue Linkies to stay consistent. But, uh, oh my yeah, god! He only needs one more here actually to shut out Yosung Cha. <laughs> Say, you may have, you already qualified, it's my turn. Oh, let me in. Right. Let me in. <laughs> I mean, he still has to, if, if he wins this, he still has to get through, uh, oh my god. Oh, goes for a reset, keeps pressure, blocks the overhead. Oh, he tried to flinch. All right, Yosemite has one more chance. He's in Awakening, though. Yeah, his life rides on this mix up here. The throw will not kill, so he does have to hit him or throw him twice. So just consent with, content with blocking. Uh, all right. Oh, uh, all right, gets away from the orb that was displacing him before. Oh, no. Wait, he's dead. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, my God. I'm trying to figure out what he swung into before because he got counter hit. I have no idea. <laughs> like, like, it's so I, hard to see what's going on when the ghost is like swinging on top of you and like, please get away from me. I wonder if he was swinging because Yosun Cha has done that mix up so often and mm. he's trying to find the answer, right? Because you can 5A the startup of it, uh, but it, it depends on the situation. Oh, doesn't get counter hit by the buster, does a trade. Yosun Cha does not swing again because the 2A is too slow. Oh, but he does there. Yeah, both. There it is. There's the 5A on that mix. This might be what he needed to get out here. All right. Buster. Hey. Hey. All right, orbs it up. Time to block. That goes low. Doesn't try to tend to uh, defend here. Oh, hey, there's a throw. Yep, good throw. Still has all that gray life. Got a whole lot of damage. Ooh, Ooh the belt actually eating the ghost, and he just sits there and says, Fallen in my belt. Oh, no. But unfortunately, not able to convert, and because of that, he's taking so much damage. Oh, combo drop. Oh, that, that's all right, you eat the mix. Oh, nice, 5A. Five five all right, nice and easy. Keep it simple. A. Oh, oh, oh my god, he scared me. He scared me so bad by oh. not going for 2B. <laughs> we all forgot that OTG, it's okay. I know, oh my god. 
and, and Young Sun Shao just gave the head nod. It's like pretty good. Yeah, you're yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, you're pretty all right. <laughs> nice move, Master. It, it would be a shame if you lost to me in finals if you made it there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, oh my uh, God. Yo Sun Cha out of the tournament at fourth, I believe. Uh, Blue Linky still in it. Going to be yes. fighting in the losers finals against versus the tenured Mule. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I know a lot of people were probably not expecting Young Sun Cha to be in losers. Uh, at all, honestly, they were like, oh, he's probably going to get the winners and beat everybody because yeah. one of the strongest uh, DNF duel players uh, that, that are around. Yep. But uh, Blue Link, he's showing that even though his character's been nerfed, he's still a really good player. Yeah, and he's ready to show y'all why he's such a good player. But first, uh, we're going to uh, watch some ads real quick. So please stick around. Stick around for these amazing top three. Uh, it's going to be a good one. Yes. Hey, everyone. Welcome back. Yohozi here, joined by Fox. What's up? We got some crazy, crazy, crazy matches that just happened. But yeah, we got top three coming up. Our top three competitors, Tenured Mule and Blue Link, is about to fight to see who has the honor and the privilege to take on Kubo here in DNF Duel. Uh, I am, I, I imagine these players play pretty often. Yeah, yeah. But uh, that's when you see the matches with the most insane decisions, the craziest options, because they know how they each other play, like, right? Yeah, because like you play, uh, they've been uh, in a lot of the net play tournaments over the past uh, almost year now since the game has been out. The game's close to a year. Yep. But they, you will see them in all your favorite net play tournaments or offline tournaments. They're very strong. But now since they are so good, they get to play each other and lose this finals to determine to see who has to play Kubo. And I don't know if that's what you want to do right after playing such a hard fight, lose this finals, when you have to play someone like Kubo. Yeah, yeah, and you know, <laughs> both these players earn these spots, honestly. Yes. Like, these are grinders. Mm -hmm. They play all the time in the Discord, always hungry for matches. And uh, yeah, we'll see if it all paid off here oh as they God. fight to try to get this art final spot. And immediately starting the pressure from Blue Linkies. Uh, Blue Linky is the Swift Master, Tending Rule, the Hitman here. Solid hit. A. 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 Alright, orb setup. Time to block, safe jump. Immediate DP afterwards. I'm not having any of that. No guard cancel for me. Yeah, really good DP. After the conversion, pretty likely that uh, Hitman's gonna go for a mix up there. So, immediate DP. Just, I don't wanna deal with any of this. You don't convert to block, you convert to mix. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, DP again. Alright, pulling him in with the win. Very nice. And now Blue Linkies is in a pretty good position right now. I'm not gonna have to worry about, oh my god. Oh, such an unfortunate whiff, but also an unfortunate drop. All right, doesn't have to worry about dying off this one combo because Tenure Mule is not in the wake. Oh my, anti-air 2A. 2A anti-air. Uh, As I said, they know how each other play. So it's, it's time to bust out all the disrespectful. I know your setup, this is, this is not real, so I'm just gonna mash on you. Yeah, I know that you know that I know that you know oh that I know that you know that I know that you know that you were gonna press buttons there. He really did vacuum into DP. <laughs> that, that is the hardest. Uh, yeah, I know you're gonna mash sequence ever. All right. So can you mule get scoring the first hit? Oh my yeah, god! Yeah, clean DPs. Four for four right now. Oof. Oh, oh, but this time it actually cancels into the DP of his own. Really good awareness. All right. Blue Linky decides a uh, uh, conversion to get some meat. Oh my! You know how terrifying it is to see a hit Hitman fly like Magneto at you. <laughs> it's like, oh, he's just he's just triangle dashing with his jump A that hits everything. I think if he does a uh, jump MP into that, he is basically Magneto. <laughs> <laughs> he is doing like, oh no, drops the combo. Uh, it, it's 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 fine. Uh, Swift Master doesn't do that much damage. You know. Yeah, it'll be okay. It's what's fine. the worst? What's the worst that could happen? Hitman has a lot of life. Yeah. We won't eat this mix up. Yeah. See, we have good defense. Ah, it's a throw. It's, it's fine. fine. What, what's the again? Right? Like, he'll enter Awakening soon. It's totally cool. Uh. Hmm. Oh, ah, whoa! Wait. The conversion. Can he kill off this DP? I oh. think he will with super. Just don't drop it, please. Nice. And keeps it simple. DP into conversion into death. That that is uh, called clutch in the business, because he had like no HP left. And I call that robbery. No, it's, it's, you, you, <laughs> no, he out, he outplayed uh, Tenure Mule. It he was, did, he did, he did. It was, because, uh, like, robbery is uh, literally telling the person, hey, don't block this. I'm just going to take this away from you. It's like, he took all his meter in his life. It was like, hey, you're just going to stand there. But yeah. He, he did have good reads on a lot of the instances Mule was trying to mash. And uh, honestly, that's not easy to do versus a character like Hitman. It isn't, it isn't, it isn't, it isn't. And uh, Tenure Mule feeling really sad about that drop that cost him uh -oh. the match, but... Unfazed here. 
Very good throw. Woo. Good discipline not to swing into that. Yeah, no so get clip for it. All right, Gar cancels out, trying to get his turn back. All right, conversion to keep the pressure on and get some more meter. Yeah, another round trip. Stan plus. What? Clipping with that long range 5A, but not canceling into MP. Hey, hey you're dead. Oh my I God, believe so. Like Are you dead? Oh, it's close. Oh, he's going to try. Oh, he didn't get the 2B to hit. Uh, again, the same situation. The 2B whiffing on Swiftmaster. Hey, 5A though, 5A. It's funny because the, the orb doesn't look like it affects uh, Hitman as it does uh, Ghost Blade. No, it doesn't. Mm. Oh, oh whiffing that move and unfortunately uh, taking a decent amount of damage here from it. Really good awareness from Blue Linkies. Nice basic. All right. Lost the loops. Orb set up. Nope, doesn't get the setup, but still keeps the turn forward, throw it near the corner. Whew. Yeah, decides to go for a different setup instead and getting two grabs for that. And now, Blue Linkies wants the hit because if Tenor's Mule gets hit by a grab, he will enter Awakening, which, as we know, is when the fair stuff starts. <laughs> oh my god. Tenor Mule's just like down back and like, please trip me into Awakening, please. Please, I beg of you. I beg of you to press an MP skill so I can activate. Oh my Whoa, god. my god. Again on reaction. That is not a mistake. Uh, that's how you know they play each other. Uh, and there's the DP right after. Oh, oh tries the anti-air, but gets clipped. All right, you need to kill him then, now. You need to use all your MP. You should get it. Yeah, OTG. that's it. Woo! Very good. Amazing. Very good. Yeah, that was, that was clean. That was ah. clean. All right, Buster again. Oh my god, 2B max range. Oh, smell the instant overhead Excellent coming. DP again, 100% success rate on that so far. It's giving Tender Mule very scared, and oh my god, the conversion to catch the roll recognizes it. All right, gonna get a safe jump off this. Just have to worry about DP. Oh, nice. it goes, goes low. low. All right, so Blue Linkies is now an awakening, but honestly, that's not too. Oh, well, this is now a problem because he can convert off of his DP. Yeah, gets the damage, gets the corner carry, gets the Okazeni. Buster loose once again. Time to guess. Oh! Goes high but doesn't convert! <laughs> that that would have been the end of the round, but so now Blue Linkis has to get another opening, which Tender Mule might not give. Uh -oh. Yeah, and the shield is up, just staying out of range. Knew that, knows that if Tender Mule has a button, he will get hit by it. Hey, nice! And then there's but a conversion. Yeah, unfortunate, but this time, ah! not able to convert, so doesn't go for the DP and hits with the JA. Tender Mule answering back 1-1. One, one. Oh my god. And goodness. this first of three losers finals. <laughs> that, that round start was please move forward. I don't <laughs> want to do it. I got, you know, with the way these people are playing, I was so worried that he was going to whip punish a 2A and be like, this man's cracked. <laughs> this man's so cracked. It, it's going to happen soon because uh, the, the way the reactions are turning up, uh, it seems like every mess up that one person takes is like, all right, cool, that's a free combo. Yeah, both players are so good on capitalizing off every mistake, every decision that is any way reactable. Oh. Nice, DP. All right, roll forward, so keep the turn. Tenure Mule has no mana. Oh, gets hit by DP, though. All right, Buster to keep you full screen. Orb is out, keeping nice pressure. Oh, nice. my, the clean jump forward. Very solid jump forward. Getting over those tornadoes, not an option I see that often, but one that works out here. And unfortunately, getting hit by 5B. TP's out, tries to. Uh, uh, I mean, it might have been an input drop, but gets in. Oh nice. my! Nice, good bait. Try to convert bait. and gets hit by 5A. Yeah, you didn't really have a choice at that point. Mm. And as you can see, the Tenure Mule already recognizing the situation happening there. Oh my god. You lost so much life for just that one DP. Yeah, very good answer from Tenure Mule. Staying awake in this match. Oh, with punishes the 2B with the dash of belt. Yeah, Tenor Mule expected the run up there with the belt on, but Blue Linky's just content to sit back, wait for that whiff, and basically whiff punished by running at him full screen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gonna get an orbs up here, gonna block. Yep, block slow. Hey, there's a throw. Waiting for a response. Yep, keeping it simple with 5A pressure after throw. You're plus, not plus enough to do too much, but 5A will always win in that situation. Oh, no. Oh, we're in oh awakening. no, EX Hitman is awoken. <laughs> hey. All right, time to get a safe jump. Oh no, wait, he's gonna try to kill. Dead. I think you're just dead. Oh no, oh, drops so it! So unfortunate! Uh-oh. You're gonna see a DP? 
a little bit skinny DP right now. Blue Linkies does block and he will 5A. Teddy Roll just continues to block, but can't block for much longer. The guard bar is cranking. Doesn't have the meter, had to DP. Auto range to punish conversion. Getting away with just a sliver there. There's no life on both of these players right now. Oh my god! <laughs> oh no, no, it's card broken. No, 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 it's not. Oh! He what? got he got pulled into the tornado when he tried to swing. These two are on another level right now. They're just like, yeah, I know you're gonna try to. Oh my! My, <laughs> my mind is blown by this right now. I, I thought Swiftmaster was bad. I thought he was not a good character anymore. Blinky saying, no, this character's good. I'm just, I'm just that nice. Yeah, I'm just is. that nice. Yeah. All right. Sengi Mule's like, I've had enough, but eat the DP once again. Yeah, right. that DP's been doing so much work. Look at what it caused. All this pressure, this guard bar pressure. Oh, oh rolls of the charge C again. It is that is 100% not an accident. Oh. But the orb causing him to uh, float in the air a little bit longer than he normally would. Blue Linky saying, "Cool, I recognize it. I'm just gonna chill a bit and then I'm gonna run forward 5 a.m. here." Oh know. no! All right, you exit in time once again. Jesus. Oh. Well, uh, you know, this is standard Hitman stuff. We're, we're all familiar with it. Instant overhead? Yeah. yeah you are dead. Well, uh, you tried. You know, I think that Hitman was not a good enough character. <laughs> I think I think we need to make him insanely powerful in Awakening. It's the only way you can play the game. Yeah, really. you know. Yeah. It's, it's not like you can play a strong mid-game space neutral. Yeah, it's not like he can't fuzzy the most tiny character in the entire game and do a full combo afterwards. But the multi-hitting overhead that uh, can be spaced to hit once, twice, or three times, or not at all. That's right, yeah. He really needed Awakening. You know, but, it, you know it, it, I actually really like the counterplay that happens with Awakening, mm. and it leads to those like crazy high moments. And, you know, Blue Link is taking some time to breathe, taking some time to readjust. Uh, tenured Mule hungry for that rematch versus Kubo in the Grand Finals. Oh my goodness, gets the conversion after the counter hit. Yeah, lots of damage. Gonna go for a safe jump. Oh, DP's instant overhead attempt. Nice conversion, JA. All right. So hard to see. Show me the loops, the loop keys. A, 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 A. All right, orb set up. Time to block. Go, just take some chip. Oh, the dash forward, messing up 10 year mules blocking. All right, back in the same loop situation. Ooh, just backing off, doesn't want to take any risk, but uh, Tinny Mule in the Awakening, that's usually what happens. Oh boy, this is getting kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> that stare down was, please do something, I, I dare you. What? I, oh! <laughs> the moment, the moment he stops blocking, he gets hit twice in a row! That's just, that's just called bad timing. Because. You, you know Tenyu Mule's waiting to get into Awakening, and you know Blue Linkies is like, I'm not going to give that to you. The, the smile I have from the play that Blue Linkies is doing is so wide right now, I can barely talk. Oh no! Oh, unfortunate with. All right, it, it's, oh, there's nice a reset. reset yeah. All right, you're going to carry that all the way in the corner and get a little bit more than half left going. Got to get a safe jump. No instant overhead, waited for a DP, gets a roll forward. Oh no, you're going to get a round trip. Uh, uh, we're still okay. Yeah, you're still alive, but that is a really big starter that you did not need to eat right now. All right, block slow. This is fall face over. Oh, Ooh, interesting. Oh. Conversion, nice. Stay safe. Do it again. Ah, conversion into the overhead. No. Yeah, ten and Neil here at match point. Blue Link has been playing so well, getting a lot of good timings, counter poking ten and Mule, but sometimes the uh, damage race is not on his side. Yeah, just needs a. Uh, if you can get one more mix of a match, he's got this in the bag. All right, See what he can do here. Yeah, forced to do strike throw. Throw not a high reward. Uh oh. Oh, he didn't want to block low. Oh my god, tries to go for something cute. But uh, Blue Link, he's awake. Knew that something cute was coming, blocks high. Oh, gets contested by 5A, and this is the last chance for Blue Linkies right now. Yeah, he has to block this mix up, or he's out of the tournament. Oh Woo! my god, the he run knew. forward! He knew! Alright, I actually don't know if he could do enough damage in this combo. Uh, there, nope, it looks like he's just gonna go for a reset after. But he does have full mana. 
Oh, I can't tell if that was supposed to be a mix-up I don't know if that's a mix-up either way. Conversion. Conversion, nice. Blocks Follow. the DP, stay safe. And then oh, catch him with the low. Oh, no. Tenured Mule advancing to grand finals over Blue Linkies. Hey, he, you got to feel bad for Blue Linkies because, you know, he was he was trying, he was grinding so hard to get to this point to try to qualify. And yeah. you know they play a lot all the time, so they're just trying to best each other. Like, today I'll be with a better player. And for uh, Tenured Mule, he... He managed to do it, and uh, I'm honestly, you have to feel for Blue Linkies because you know he's been riding super hard. Yes. His character got some people would say unfairly nerfed, but other people would say like, yeah, there's a reason why they nerfed his character. But he did put in the work. He did figure out what he's supposed to do to fight all the matchups in the game, and uh, unfortunately today he gets third place. Yeah, leaving at third, looking sad on his way out. But you know, when you lose a big tournament like this, it. it Sometimes it'd be that way. Sometimes yeah, yeah, it'd be yeah. that way. Yeah. So Tendered Mule, though, staying composed of this whole tournament, uh, staying composed in that match versus Blue Linkies, where honestly some very crazy things are happening, I know. and is rewarded for his patience by going up against Grappler. Is that a reward? No. <laughs> <laughs> I will say it. No. No, I don't think so. That was the way Kubo plays. That, that's a you know, calculated uh, up forwards on wake up that he he loves to do. Yeah, we'll see if uh, Tenured Mule is able to adjust and, and sort of uh, figure out exactly what he's going to do here because the jump fours from Kubo have been almost 100% success rate, honestly. I have never seen anything like it. <laughs> it it's like he's uh, mastered the art of holding up forward knowing that your opponent's trying to do some fake meaty setup. Can I get that power? That power sounds great. I don't know. You would have to play uh, low tier characters for quite some time. Pass. Yeah. yeah. Pass. Uh, we're, we're all done with that. We've been playing fighting games for too long. For yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm too tired. I'm too old for that. <laughs> <laughs> I am too old for low tiers. <laughs> all right, Kuba making sure his stick works, getting ready. <clears throat> and you have to you have to figure that Tenure Mule is like, all right, I have a game plan this time, but maybe Kubo just took all the time while he's watching uh, Tenure Mule play, say like, oh, I know how to fight this now. All right, cool. Uh, you know, by the way, Tenure Mule sort of uh, uh, acts so chill. I wonder if he's like, I wonder what's for dinner after this. <laughs> oh, after, after I beat Kubo, I wonder what I'm going to eat. That would be interesting. He's just he's just like, you know what? I got this. I'm not I'm not sweating anything. I mean, every time he's won, he's been like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm kind of nice. I'm kind of nice, though. Kind of nasty. All right. Yeah, so we got Grand Finals here for DNF Duel. Winner of this does qualify for the Art Rebel Finals. And already, Tenure Mule starting off where he left at Loser's Finals. Oh. Nice, DP knows <laughs> that jump forward has to shut it down super early. It's funny, too, because Kubo did it again right after. Oh, no. Nice, again, the reactions. Right, again! It's funny, too, because he, he's expending his mana to do that, so he needs to make sure he has enough to do that anytime he jumps. It's an overhead conversion. Very nice. Answering with that perfect KO in this grand finals at Frosty Faustings. He is ready to get this reset and this win. He has a lot more to fight for, but oh my god, what an early response to a 3-0 in uh, winner's finals. Uh-oh. Right, you, gotta, you gotta be careful. Cause... Oh. oh no, that jump in. Kubo, in Kubo's head, he's like, eventually. You will not be able to anti air me. And this is the time. All right. He's gonna get the knockdown. Tries to roll through. Oh my God. He just. Woo! He tried to. He tried to counter the uh, DP there and doesn't get it. So Kubo stuck near the corner. Yeah. Tenor Mill wants to play that mid range game. A lot of times when he died versus Kubo before was actually when he was in the corner, uh, like pressuring Kubo. Kubo would roll out, hit a jump in. He's been playing that mid range so well. I'm in favor of him backing up and just playing that game instead. Because see, Kubo rolls out. Oh, gets clipped by 2B trying to move forward. Doesn't die. Hey. Oh, God. Oh, oh no, God. again. <sighs> Good roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, roll again. Oh. No, no anti-air. Oh, my again, God. Again, two? Just two. That's <laughs> he, all you need. <laughs> he waited. He really waited. Like, please don't do the third one. Please, please don't, don't do, do the it. third one. Please don't do the fourth. Oh, we blocked those. Amazing blocks from Kubo. All right. Trying to get a guard break, but Kubo. Let's go. Oh, the conversion into the jump turn. Oh, oh delayed DP. DP. Nice. Oh. Tenured Mule alive. A very clean game one. Uh, avoided the disaster of blocking, of getting hit by those tackles that would probably would have ended the round instantly, but uh, bringing it back. 
Alright, playing really clean neutral, making sure Kubo can't jump for free. Yeah, Kubo can tend to change it up. Like, he got anti so much. Um, it does cost all that mana, but right now he's like, okay, I'm not gonna make you spend the mana, I'm gonna dash block, I'm gonna be a little bit random and just random enough to get the slam to the charge JS. All right, full corner carry. Should be able to side swap. Yep, there we go. Same jump. Oh nice my god! Nice grab. All right, plus frames. Respecting. Oh, oh, that was a little bit too far. But wasn't sure. Oh my god, that anti. -air. Amazing anti. -air. Lots of damage too. Good to be pickup. I've never seen that actually. All right, Google took a good chunk of damage there, but he's, he's still in a good spot. He, he's grappler. Yeah, it not an awakening quite yet. Uh oh. Now he is. Oh. Now he is awoken. And Tenryu Mule has to this next one charge. He's using into the command grab. Tenryu Mule is so scared. <laughs> no, drops it. Oh no. All right, he's dead. Yeah, now he's dead. And this is a really easy uh, combo here, so yeah, not gonna drop it. Like you can see Tenryu Mule just holding the guard button, like, please, sir, don't tackle me anymore. But then he forgets that you know, grappler is a grappler. Grappler is a grappler. And uh, unfortunately for Kubo, he did drop his combo, but he he will remember this. Kubo will remember this. <laughs> Exclamation mark. Uh-oh. All right, back to Hitman thing, just facing. Oh my god. Yeah, no anti-air. Kubo gets in. Good Un DP. <laughs> Does not want to deal with that at all. Oh, Ooh! 2F armor. Oh, he tried to pull up with a command grab. Instant overhead. Nice conversion uses to get the mana back afterwards. Pushes Kubo to the corner. All right, gonna get a little bit more damage and apply safe pressure. Oh. Yeah, getting a safe jump into the overhead. Doesn't get the combo, but lands with a 2A. This will kill if he doesn't drop it. Uh, Grappler is, yeah. oh my god, that ate through the last of his life. I have been hit by that combo so many times, <laughs> I know the damage on that. More than anything in this game. All right, so Tenure Mule is up 2-0 pretty convincingly. Uh, he's been able to shut down Kubo's plan of trying to take this guy's, you know, and try to clip him in the air, but, uh-oh. Nice, parry, catches that swing. All right, safe jump, oh no. You're expecting the charge jump as to come through, but then it's like all of a sudden, uh, command grab. Up, plus frames. Aye. Yeah, good DP. I really like uh, Tenryu Mill's decision to DP in those situations because it's like Kubo hasn't been baiting. Oh, God. <laughs> On Kubo, Kubo hasn't been baiting it as hard as, as normal. And, uh, you know, you don't need to do a strike throw if you just DP. Oh. All right, get away. <laughs> oh Again. my God. All right, safe jump. Plus frames. Nice, the delayed DP. Kubo tried to bait it, unrewarded. All right, gonna get a uh, good chunk of damage here. Use up the last of his mana, gets the regen. Gets the safe jump as well. Instant overhead. Yeah, again, that mix is so good. And if he can finish this out, uh, Kubo does die. Yes, yes, he's awoken. Tenure Mule is hungry for the reset, but... Uh -oh. Oh wait, he actually did reset. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the reset I was talking about, Tenured Mule, but I respect it anyways. All right, this is one round away from being a 3-0 reset. And yeah. uh, honestly, with the way Kubo played in, in winner's finals, most people would have thought like, oh, he's got this in the bag. No one's going to stop him. But uh, as you can see that here, Tenured Mule has proven himself to be one of uh, North America's top players. Yeah, ready to get in those finals. Beat up those two other hitmen. Oh my oh, god! Oh, Bates, <laughs> the parry. Kubo posing for the camera, saying, I'm gonna get hit right here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh my, he actually challenged that setup. <laughs> I cannot believe he challenged it. it wow, it's clips the DP. Uh-oh. He has no mana. He's in Awakening. Yeah, in Awakening, one hit here will <laughs> bunch of damage. But Tenry Mill tries oh. to go for the reset, gets oh, hit by no. two way. If Kubo will need one more reset here, but the next hit will do it. So, uh, very precarious situation here for Tendrick Mule. There's a DP. Yes, you are dead. Oh, you no. You are so dead. And. Uh, oh, show me go. the movie. Oh. Show me the movie. It's hilarious because it was the one time he had committed to doing DP there in that block and Kubo was like, yes, now I will do armor attack. <laughs> Now I will reverse 3-0 uh, you. I think I will win this match here. Yeah, I will simply win. I will just simply win. Oh, God. Good yeah, with punish. Very good spacing. All right, let's see. Yep, go for the knockdown. Going to go for the jump and go low. Nope. All right. 
a little bit of chip damage there. Oh, no! Solid pressure, finds his way out. All right, back to the corner you go. Gonna eat the safe jump, plus frames. We're gonna see a DP, we're gonna see a jump out. Oh, nice no! roll, but hits with the back of the foot! Yeah, you gotta watch out for that, unfortunately. Yeah, might have to go for a reset here. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close! Oh. It's gonna be close, barely survives, Teddy Mule has a chance! Oh. Nice, the DP! He actually waited for the immediate DP and it, the same thing happened as before. Has to go for a reset, finds it! Tenured Mule closing out of this first set of Grand Finals, bringing Kubo to the reset in Ooh. a reverse 3-0. All right, so. Let's go. You can see Kubo already thinking to himself, like, man, I thought I baited that DP, which he did instantly, but on the hesitation, he pressed 2A, you saw it come out. He got put by DP and lost that round. It's the same thing that happened in the round prior. So now he's probably gonna think, okay, am I gonna have to bait this harder or am I just gonna have to do something else to avoid DP altogether? All right, so bracket reset, back to 0-0. Zero, zero. Kubo's now in loser's bracket. Yeah, a quick grand finals reset here. Uh-oh. Right, already with the parry, getting the knockdown. Aye. Yeah, Kubo unfazed, getting all these mix-ups to hit. Oh, looks nice. like, look like he tried to bait the DP there again. I think he knew that uh, that's not a safe job. Mm. Good patience, doesn't run into the success. Ugh. Yeah, playing at his strength here, backdashing to try to bait things. Oh my god! That anti-air was cracked. <laughs> he, he just knew like, oh, he's gonna take the disguise with his forehead. I'm gonna meet him up there. Oh no. All right. Can you meal keeping this? Nice. Parries the bullet. Oh, oh my god, god. Grappler has those? <laughs> Grappler has uh, instant overheads? I didn't know that. All right. New invention here from Kubo. Oh. Tries to bait stuff. Both players just content. Oh Sit. god. Oh my god. Oh! He got chased for trying to backdash, but he, he still lives. It's fine. Oh no, I thought he was going to die there again. Oh, but the DP, DP enters a waning. Oh my goodness. It's like Hitman never left this after all. It's wild. <laughs> He's still here. Yeah, he's, he's always been here. Saying, Grappler, you got buffs, but I'm always Hitman. I'm, I'm, always, I'm hitman. always Hitman. Yeah. I mean, he also, I mean, Hitman also got buffs, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Some, but not as much. And yeah, just Tenry Mule proving that he is one of the best Hitmans here. Hey, it's oh, good overhead. Yeah, the mix. All right. Safe jump. Yep. Yeah, it goes low this time. Kubo blocks low. No roll, waiting, backs off. Nice! Nice, yeah, catches that slam. Oh, and he contested the roll immediately after, but he doesn't have enough mana, goes for the reset. And he goes again. for the reset, and takes it with a perfect Woo! tenured mule, 1-0, has the advantage in the set for the first time. Man, he, he just, he is just smoking him right now, four games straight. All right, let's see if Kubo can uh, get it back together. He has to figure out some sort of strategy. Nope, but he's not getting anything. He's getting contested all, everywhere on his offense. Yeah, just shutting down that jump forward pressure that has worked so good for Kubo for so long in this tournament. Right. Oh. And the pace is by Mule. Uh, nice right there. parry, nice parry. Kubo answering back. All right, full turns again, gonna wait. Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah, good command grab. Gonna take a decent amount of damage here. Be thrown back into the corner. Gets a safe jump, baits oh the my. DP! Oh, it, it, it's time, it's time to start baiting DPs. All the, right. the next layer has been unleashed. Oh no! It's happening! He's adapted! He's awake, he's, he knows what's going on, he's... He's, he's adapting, you're right, he's, he's just adapting. He's figuring it out, he's like, oh, so, you, so you're just gonna do backdash and delay DP? Cool, he, I will just bait both of them by holding up forward once again. He has unlocked the next layer. He understands. <laughs> All right, gets knocked down. Oh, nice, whips the jump nice. and goes low. Yeah, that mix so strong. All right. Oh, uh, again, gets hit by the JA and another one into the reset. It's so rough having to block that because there's so many hits to account for. Yeah, and the hit stun on it is very strange. And again, oh again, JA, what a, what a normal, oh my God. Is this enough? Goes for another reset. Yeah, oh, needs him in the air. With the perfect. 
All right, the crowd is going absolutely wild. We can hear them from all the way back here. They're screaming. They want Tendon Mule to win. Nice DP oh. anti-air. At the last second, too. It almost didn't make it, but gets the, gets the opportunity to keep pressure. And now Tubo's trying to figure out how to get in the one time that he needs. And there it is. Oh. All right. Armor tackle, putting in work. Close to Half-Life. Going to keep Tendon Mule in the corner. Uh. On the block. Oh! Nice. Time the block is what Kubo thought too. <laughs> Hit us up with the command grab. Plus frames again. Oh nice my again! God. I'm gonna do it twice. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and and Kubo finally gets the game, stops the bleeding, and it's now one to one in the recess. Yeah, the turner gets applied and no longer bleeding matches. We have 1-1. One, one. We have a crazy grand finals here at Frosty Fastings 2023. Oh. As once again, Kubo grabs the bullet. Woo! Nice DP. All right. Kubo probably having the foresight of, oh, he's going to DP, but a little bit too late to try to parry it. <laughs> to be just whiffing. And he just tried to run in. Uh, I mean, oh. jumping's not working anymore, right? Yeah. You gotta run, you gotta tackle, you gotta mix it up a little bit. The layers! He really the did! The layers! Run up, charge, tackle? He did run up to a charge tackle. <laughs> he knew he was gonna try to DP. Oh, wait, he's dead. Yeah, oh yeah. He's, he's done for. Oh my god. He, he really did figure it out. Oh. No? No, wow, we're wrong. He did it but again! It does... He did Bro, it Bro, I can't, I can't commentate this. This is, this is too much. This is too much. He, he's he's uh, he's figuring it out for. Oh my God, Kubo adapting! <laughs> ah! Oh no, he's doing grappler things. Help! <laughs> Help! Help! He's a grappler. What do I do? What do oh I do? Oh my God, looking like looking like him in there with the jump charge move on offense. What's happening? And with a perfect? Yeah, he's dead. Oh with a perfect? God. This is such a turnaround from the first four games. It's insane. It's actually insane. And literally what happened was when he did the first run up to a charge tackle and he obliterated his DP, I think that's where Kubo was just like, I actually understand. I actually know what's going on now. Yeah, the adaptation from Kubo has been crazy. He just changed the way he plays Grappler entirely. It's like a totally different person playing him right now. Oh, he had the audacity to throw Grappler. Oh, gets the instant overhead. Yeah, nice conversion. That was, that was, that was pretty good. All right, gets a slam. Yep, gonna tackle on more damage there. Oh, so scary. Goes low, fakes the overhead. Probably gonna run it back. Nice <laughs> reset. Tenured Mule not phased by that last match. Putting on a clinic here. Uh, he, he needs to secure this round, though, because the longer Kubo is alive, yeah, he still has a little last chance. Oh, not anymore. Try to walk forward, got clipped. All right. Oh my God. <laughs> it's like that. The last two games didn't matter for Mule either. He's like, oh, I lost. Whatever, I got this. Yeah, I'm good. I got a gun and a sword. You just got hands. I'm good. I'm chilling. He's actually got two guns. He doesn't use the second one all the time. Oh, okay, nice. Well, good for him. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if he used Dude's both got a, guns. Grappler's just got a fist. He's got a fist and a foot. Oh God. Oh. Nice. Good DP. Not phased. Oh, punishes the roll with oh. the conversion. Tendered Mule is playing out of his mind right now. All right, we get a safe jump. Woo! Fakes the multi hit. Goes once into the instant overhead. Not dead. Oh, we're holding up. Oh, oh there's a charge tackle again. Nice. Oh, nice wait. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, wait, he yeah. double. Nice DP anti air. Bringing it Ooh. to 2-2 two, two Grand Finals. All right, it, it's, it's time. This is the this is the game that decides who goes to goes to finals. Tenny Mill just give it a thumbs up, like, yeah, hey, I like, did he's, it. He's like, yeah, I'm kind of nice. Yeah, he's I'm kind of nice, though. I'm kind of sick. Oh, they're going right back oh, into yeah, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, they went back to Oh, man. Oh, 5A. Get the hit. Small knockdown. Kubo just chilling. It looks like he's waiting for Tenyu Mule to like burn most of his mouth. Oh no! Uh, well, uh, that's, that's definitely the start that Kubo needs. Yeah, right. but Tenyu Mule seems un has been seeming unfazed throughout this whole set. Yep, again, just wake up DP, not afraid. Un not afraid of anything. <laughs> not Kubo, not Grappler, not oh. dying for blocking once. 
Again, DP again. You can do it one more time. Will Kubo do it to drain the mana? No. Rolls gets clipped by 2A into this corner combo. This might kill. Uh oh. No, it needs the one reset. Oh my, oh my god. god, the foot! He pressed the button. He pressed the, the foot. He pressed the foot. Alright, no button press. No! no! He he tried to DP and he died for it. Kubo on tournament point. It's, it's, it's time. If there's ever a time to be oh. clutch, it's right here. They did. Oh my god. Okay, no pickup. No pickup. You take those. Oh, we don't take those. That was a reset. You got a command grab set up. Empty. Oh my reset. god. Plus right. DP. Go, just rolls through, gets out. Oh, he's, oh good no. Good block, good block. Oh no, but you <laughs> not press buttons yeah. there at all. And his guard bar is looking suspicious too. Tenny oh, has to wake up with an air grab. All right, he's not. He's, it, oh my god, is he dead? He's, he's dead. dead. He's Kubo dead. takes it over tenured mule. In the <laughs> fights his way through six hit matches, and a grappler has qualified for the Arc World Tour over tenured mules hitman. Homies coming to the stage, cheer him on. That uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. That was probably the, the best grand finals I've seen for this game so far because, you know, it's Grappler. You don't see a character like that that often. Kubo, like, yes, I did it. Finally, I did it. Look, he is so proud of himself. He fought so hard for that win. Oh, my God. That man deserves a break. <laughs> I mean, he, he won the tournament, so, like, he's going to get his break. Oh, yeah, he need, that, that guy is going to lay down for, like, two hours after this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, the fact that... He, Winner's Finals went the way it did, and he was pretty, it looked pretty convincing. Like, he lost the game, but he was like, ah, whatever. He still was able to hold up forward, keep yeah. his turn. And then Tenya Mule, after going through uh, Blue Linkies, just like, all right, I kind of know what to do now. And he was pretty hot four games in a row, after, yeah. like three games in a row after the reset, didn't get the fourth game. And it looked like Kubo was just like, all right, I need to start baiting these DPs. Yeah. And once that started happening, you could tell that uh, Tenya Mule was just like, uh, I'm not sure what to do anymore. And then Kubo was like, cool, I got the command grab you now. Yeah, the layers that Kubo unveiled there, honestly, were were incredibly impressive. Like, normally in a, in a grand final set, you see adaptions. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, that, that just comes with the territory. But, like, Kubo changed the way he played and the way he approached entirely. Yes. His mix-up game changed, his pressure game changed, his neutral game changed. He literally, like, found one option, flipped the switch. I think it was the 2A charge. Yeah, After yeah, the 2A yeah. charge, he's like, okay, I've unlocked the next layer. <laughs> I know what's coming up next. Which is terrifying because it's like, you're fighting Rappler, so he's doing tick throw, and you're like, oh, I'm just going to mash on the throw. And then it turns into, no, the tackle that is safe because it's fully charged, and if you swing with a huge button, you're just going to die. Yeah, and even if you DP, you're going to die. Yeah. And not only are you, like, going to die in air quotes, <laughs> like, no, you literally get hit with that tackle, and I feel like <laughs> there's, like, a mortician, like, walks up to the stage. It's, it's like, like, all right, oh, next round. Die. It's yeah. like, all right, go to the next round. Fast forward. But uh, uh, hopefully the award ceremony will be coming up for you guys in a little bit because that, that was a really impressive top eight. Yeah, that top eight was actually crazy. Yes. My vo my voice was gone before. <laughs> it is officially gone. Yeah, mine's mine's going now. I I, I am I am when I put down this headset, I'm just gonna die in this chair. <laughs> uh, I mean, we can't because they gotta do cleanup, so we gotta like we go back to our just rooms. Just leave me, bro. Just leave me. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. <laughs> oh my goodness! But uh, everyone, thank you for watching top eight with us. Uh, it was. Really great run. I'm very impressed with the turnout we had so far for this tournament. I know a lot of people were expecting certain uh, entrants to make it as far as they did, but yep. honestly, the amount, the level of play that we've seen so far is very impressive. Yeah, this was a stacked tournament, and everyone who made top eight, and honestly, everyone who made top 48, like, it, it's been just killers the whole way through, and every match has been hype. Yes. Every single match from, from winners' finals of pools, honestly, even in pools, like, not <laughs> winners' finals matches of pools. All the way to now, I've been screaming, I've been losing my mind. Uh, so thank you, Frosty Faustings, for, yes. for uh, hosting DNF. And yeah, like congratulations again to Kubo. Just what sick play, what amazing play. Uh, the dude is ultra qualified now. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. I know a lot of people are just like, ah, Grappler's never going to win a tournament. No one could ever uh, win a major with this character. And it's like, oh, hey, check out these buffs. Check out this player. Uh, that, that's, pre that's pretty good. You know, as a grappler man, I feel conflicted. <laughs> I feel conflicted. I feel conflicted. You got to have the hard reads like Kubo does. You have to have the mindset of a grappler I player. I have to have the heart. We, don't, we know what I lack that Kubo has. It's heart. It's heart? It's heart.
No, I, no, it's just hard reads. That's like, oh, you, oh it's just, it's just it's it's actually, hard it's, reads. I'm sorry, it's actually jumping forward. It's yeah. jumping forward, <laughs> and then when that stops working, it's like, t it's like tick throw attempt that turns into tick tackle attempt. He knows how to. Okay, he knows how to drag people into the mud. Yeah. yeah. He he drags you into the mud, and Hitman, who is a generally like a, you know, a zoner, a mid ranger, can kind of throw out buttons, keep control. He's like, no, we're gonna get muddy. <laughs> We're gonna get dirty. We're, we're I'm gonna, gonna do full screen run up, two A charge tackle and kill you, and yeah. you're just gonna have to accept that this is where you are now. Oh, until he's not, then you're just like, ah, oh, well, okay, now I have to try to get back in. But tackle does solve that problem for a lot of instances because you're yes. just so worried about constantly swinging into him. You're like, oh no, what am I supposed to do? Yeah, and it solves. Uh, hit, Grappler actually deals with one of Hitman's best strengths really well, which is his DP, mm. right? Like, it, it's it's an amazing DP. Hits both sides. Hits jump ins. Super active. It's a little bit slow on the startup, but hey, that's okay because when you're in Awakening, it also kills you. And <laughs> the fact that he could tame Tendered Mule, it, I'm still pretty mind blown. I'm not gonna lie. I, yeah, like I was just like, he's not gonna stop doing DPS in his block strings. Then yeah. all of a sudden, when he started dying from him, he's like, what if I DP'd even later? Then then it started working yeah. out. And he got his uh, control back. Yeah, and you know we should also talk about Tendered Mule's run too. Like, mm. I have always been a Tendered Mule fan. I love the way he plays. I hate him, man, but I think he actually <laughs> plays this game really, really, really well. A mm -hmm. player who wasn't really well known in other games, as far as I know, until DNF Duel. And he put in the hours and the work. He's been grinding hard every day. You see him at every online tournament, and, you know, it's it's really nice to see. Like, you saw how calm he was during that whole set. He almost beat Kupo. Ooh, I know. It, it was tough. He did it in the first reset, but then, like, having to do it again is pretty tough. But... Uh, hopefully, it uh, looks like uh, they're ready to do the announcement for the war ceremony. Yep. All right. So we are going to see our top eight ceremony here at Frosty Faustings. <sighs> yeah. And uh, hopefully the finals will be just as impressive, if not more impressive. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right. All right. Let's get <laughs> I'm still I'm still shook. Right. I'm still shook. As soon as I saw two a Let's charge give it up for Test, test. Test, test. Huh? Test, test. I think they took our house down though. I'm just gonna yell. Go! All right, yeah, what a top eight it was. Congratulations to all the players, everyone for showing up. Thank you all for playing this game. DNF Duel is a game I love. It's a game that obviously these players love. And uh, yeah, we're, we're super honored that you all watched. And uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yes, please, <clears throat> please keep supporting the game. I know a lot yes. of people were hesitant in the very beginning when there wasn't any updates for it. They were like, when are we going to get the patch? When are we getting another patch? That first patch didn't do anything. And now that we have a pretty substantial patch and Decent developer support and DLC coming along the way. Uh, the rest of this year should look pretty good. 
Yeah, so make sure you stay tuned for the uh, Arc Rebo World Finals where Kubo qualified and will fight everyone else. And uh, yeah, with that, thank you all for watching. We really appreciate it. We are going to be raiding Tampa Never Sleep, so yes. stay tuned for more amazing top eight action here at Frosty Faustings 2023. I am Yahozi. I'm Fox. And it's been a pleasure. Take care.